Welcome everybody to the Click Gaming 2v2 Rocket League camp quality action today. This is the post turkey event. As you can tell, I'm in a hoodie because I'm in a food coma still for me so much turkey. But with that being said, this is actually going to be a great event today. We had a lot of teams sign up. I believe we had around like 50 or 60 teams that had signed up and I think about 45 or even 50 of them checked in. So it'll, it'll be a great time. We're actually going to do a brought to you by real quick. Let's see here. We actually have, actually, this is brought to you by Camp Quality, which is a national charitable organization that provides summer camps and programs for children affected by cancer free of charge. Uh, and like I said, there's also some great sponsors that are involved with this too. While we wait for them to actually get these uh, loaded up, we're actually going to sh show a uh, Manitoba video real quick, actually. Like I said, Manitoba is actually location and has some insights on what camp quality means to the kids that are affected by cancer. So you guys stay tuned and enjoy this commercial. We'll be right back. The community here is overall amazing. There's so many nice people, you need help doing something. There's 10, 15 people already rushing over to try to help you. It's almost like a family at this point. Like, I know everyone, everyone knows me. And it's like, even just getting to see everyone food one week is like really nice. I go home and I'm in a better mood. I see things through a more positive lens. Being able to be there for someone and to have that much of an impact of their summer and have them wanting to come back for another year is just something that you can't, you know, you can't pay for. Like those connections that you get to make with these kids here and the fact that they come back year after year is just really a meaningful experience for everyone involved. Alrighty, friends, kicking this off. You can see Spencer versus Ruben with Spencer putting some points up on the board first. Literally 12 seconds into the kickoff and already a 1-0. This, this might be a good match coming up. Like I said, a lot of these teams, so with us hosting a lot of tournaments, you know, we see a lot of multiple teams come in and there's some familiar faces, but then there's actually a, quite a bit that uh, this might be an interesting show to see how they turn out. So far, you got Low Solar over there trying to get something going. Cloud Boy he might try to dunk it in. Nope, no need to. His opponent misses, and that is a quick 2 0 area for Spencer and company. Here comes the kickoff, real quick. Ball right corner. And right now, my production company is actually getting the names fixed on there. They had some names from the other event that we had going on. Because right now, the cool thing about how Click Gaming does their stuff is we literally have about 10, actually, I wouldn't say 10, I'd say about eight lobbies or so that are loaded up. So once a game ends, or let's say if it's a blowout, we can immediately switch over to another game real quick just to keep the action going. We don't like to keep it to where you guys have downtime seeing commercials or be right back screens. We want to make sure you guys get all the action. So if I'm correct, I believe they actually have the names correct, which is I don't know who in Slam Jammies. So if this is correct, like I said, we'll, we'll wait to make sure, but we'll slay with it right now. Griff Machine, trying to get the ball drifting to the side, picking up Turbo. I don't know if he's toying with them or not. Nope, oh, good save right there on the backside. Ball flying down. Griff should be able to counter that and save it, and he does. Bouncing out the side corner, coming back towards middle. Flying towards, this might be an easy dunk if they could flap and get a good pick. That dropped perfectly. Oh, but he whiffed it and missed it. Low needs to honestly get back instead of being aggressive, which he does. Smart plays right there. Oh, don't leave that goal open, though, because we've seen what happened so far with 340 off the clock. And just like that, this is a 4-0 with I don't know who. 
So the thing here that some people might want to understand how Rocket League works, um, Rocket League is what I call angry little RC cars playing soccer. Those little uh, glowing dots you see are boost and they pop up every three seconds, the small ones do, and they give you about 14% of your boost. Now the big fat ones that are glowing in the corners, there's only six of those, those are what we call the hundos. The hundos pop up every 10 seconds. Another cool thing about this here is you can tell with their boost, it allows you to like fly around the map, allows you to flip this, that, uh, what we call aerials, a little bit of everything. And so Rocket League is its own amazing, I'm trying to think of another good way to call it, but pretty much like I said, it's soccer with RC cars, but with a little twist. So we appreciate those that are tuning in. If you're actually in the stream too, if you type in uh, exclamation point, <laughs> point donate, as I see an explosion go off there from that demo, uh, you can actually donate to Camp Quality. So right now, Low Solar trying to get some action going. Ball is in middle. Flying around back left side. This might be a good setup if they could counter it correctly. They've got to be careful, though, because they are on their side. Griff right now trying to set up. This might be a dunk. Did he get enough? He did. Look at that beautiful aerial shot by Griff coming in hot. So like I said, I don't know about you guys, but if you got a lot of turkey and uh, desserts yesterday, let us know what you guys had. I smoked a turkey and had about 10 different desserts. I think I gained about five pounds, so it's uh, I'm a bit sleepy, but that's what happens when it comes to turkey day. Right now, though, I don't know who is throttling on Slam Jammies currently. 225 off the clock. Ball flying in the corner, and this is just a complete shutout right now, it looks like. We might have a Brazilian going on here with a 7-0. We might switch to another game if there's any closer games. So I'll have my production crew look through the different films we have going on to see if there is something. We are actually going to flip, and we'll get back to that one later on. Currently, we have the Pack versus Vibe Check. This is a 1-0 current lead. Four, almost a minute off the clock with 4.05 coming up. Nice shot. Nice block at the same time. Can zero, zero tried counter it, but unfortunately did not hit off the side of the car he wanted. Ball is literally flying back now. Finally on the blue side. Coming up, this might be a dunk if someone can... Oh, he did get a good counter on it. Woo! Is it enough? It does. He hits that crossbar, which helps him out ultimately on that, because you've got to be real careful. If not, those crossbars will either A, be in your favor, or they will make that ball launch way away from the areas, and it is not going to be pretty. Oh, this guy's name is S'mores. I want some S'mores. That'd be great right about now. Ball flying back in mid, shooting around. 322 on the clock currently. Pack zero. He's got to be careful. Right now, like I said, ball is going. Is This is some slow motion stuff. Nice save there. It's a recounter. Can he save it again? He does get a double save. <laughs> Can he get it out of there so he doesn't have to worry about that triple? And they finally do. Pack is pushing it currently up right now, who is up 1-0. S'mores over here, though, with five check. Like I said, trying to get some action going themselves, too. Those are some crucial saves back there by Pack, though. They needed those to make sure this game didn't get tied up. 2.38 off the clock. Ball is in left-hand side. Sometimes with games like this, I wish it'd be like when we do the pro circuit. Oh, this will be an E. Oh, no, he messed up his easy shot. No. VC, you had it. Oh, but what I was about to say before that happened is I wish we had the capability to get in-game comms like we do it on our major tournaments just so we can hear how they communicate because hearing how competitive players communicate is different than just, oh, hey, buddy, he's over here. You know, you joking with your friends. There's call-outs. There's positioning, there's everything in between it. And you also get to hear the frustration because I'm pretty sure he might have said a few cuss words on that one since it didn't go his way. Nice save there by Pack though, flying up. Vibes trying to get some work going himself. He needs to, they need to recounter, they need to hit the brakes. Nice E break. Well, will it be enough? They got to be careful though, flipping around like that. Because if not, zero will do just that. Oh, save off the rip. Can he get a double save? He does. This is their chance. Can they push it up? They've got to. And there it is, tied finally, 1-1. One, one. Beautiful setup and save. I have not seen that goal explosion. I like that. 
And it is a 1-1 one, one pack versus vibe currently. Here comes the kickoff, ball roll on left hand side. S'mores looks like he has possibly changed his vehicle if I'm correct, because earlier I don't think he had that one. That's the thing too, when it comes to different vehicles, there is hit boxes, at least from what others say, that can affect you. Like for instance, most people use the Octane, the fast cars, or the little tiny ones. I use the big old truck. But just like that now, Vibe Check is currently 2-1 versus the Pac-Man. The pack was leading most of the way. Vibe check making up for that mistaken whiff that they had earlier because that could have been dangerous. VC's trying to set something up himself. Can he get a good flip? Nope, it will be a recountered. Ball is on the orange side. We're currently at S'mores, but S'mores misses. This might be a good setup for a dunk, and it will be. Now we are tied up 2 2 with a minute 0 02 left on the clock. Can we see our first overtime starting this event off? Stay tuned, we'll find out. Minute timer right now. Nice save there. Pack trying to go in hardcore to push that ball in. Try hitting off the rip, but missed it. They need to recount, and they are. So right now, they are literally still being bullies. It is on the orange side. This might be the setup they need. Oh, a little more speed, and it would have got inside there. He's trying to dribble it. He wasn't able to dribble enough. S'mores trying to get something zero now himself. Ball is coming dangerously in that corner. If it ricochets off the wall like that, oh, that could have been a setup. Ghost right now all alone. And he, oh, he hits the crossbar. No, that's that crossbar I was talking about. Sometimes it'll work in your favor and sometimes it will not. Final 10 seconds. Both these teams are not wanting to go out. Oh my gosh, can you save it? No, he missed. Oh, ho, ho, ho. what a whiff, what a save, and we are going to overtime, my friends. Man, that was a, that's going to be a good highlight roll. I hope somebody clipped that one right there, because that was a crazy ball rolling off that crossbar. Zero right now. Left-hand side, trying to get some action going. Ball is back again. Zero now launching it back downfield, trying to get what he can. Oh, nice setup, nice save. Uh oh, this might be a shot. Uh oh, I don't think they communicated on that, but no need. This should be an easy shot. On wow. I mean, it's a good thing that they came to say that. I thought the blue team was going to come up right behind him and take it from him, but luckily they were just they were just bird dogging. I don't know if they just left it alone or what. Ball sitting down, and that's going to be it. The pack will come back and win in overtime after being in the commanding lead the first three minutes of this. So as as they get into game two. We're going to see real quick if we have another game to, like I said, switch this bad boy into. Now we got Vivid Reality versus Uzi Gang. I remember Uzi Gang, so Ng was in the Game Gym qualifier I had last week. Great guys. And that's the thing, too, is if you guys love events, uh, be sure to check out GameGym.com. Uh, I'm one of their lead admins on there, so I help them host events just like I do here with Click Gaming and whatnot. So if you want esports... I'm going to be involved with it. We're going to be involved with it. We're going to have a lot of fun. With that being said, though, right now, Empathy trying to get something going. Oh, he was trying to juke and jive. It did not work out very well in his favor. Ball right now in the backhand corner. Coming up, this might be able to be a possible. Yeah, it's an easy save off the wall. I'd say it depends on how it rolls up. Ooh, nice stop, nice save on the dime. NRG Clapper trying to get something going here. 
Ball dangerously in the orange corner. Can orange get it out of there? Nope. Mars will swoop in. 4-2 in favor. Uzi Gang needing to get some points on the board there to try to close this gap up. One minute remaining on the clock. Can Uzi Gang tighten this up or will it go in favor of Vivid off the side here? Shots coming in. And Mars, though, will kind of put that nail on the coffin with a five to two. For those that are also now tuning in for this Camp Quality 2v2, we'd also like to give it another shout out to another sponsor, CI Investments and CI Global Asset Management. CI Global Asset Management is one of Canada's largest uh, investment funds companies and about 1.3 million Canadians trust us to help realize the financial goals. CI is a proud partner of financial advisors across Canada who offer funds to their clients and they believe their investors are the most successful when they follow us down. So like I said, thank you CI Global for like I said, chipping in and making this awesome event happen just as well as Camp Quality. And like I said, there's so many more that's gonna be involved and we can't wait to see how far this will take off as well. So 16 seconds left on the clock here. This is going all vivid reality. And they're gonna be going into game two. This is a best two out of three, by the way. So if you see a team get beat, they're not out of it, my friends. They have multiple rounds they have to go through, plus there's a loser's bracket as well. So now we're back into vibe check. Oh, I haven't seen that, that, that goal explosion either in the pack. We've seen earlier the pack come back in a overtime victory when they were commanding most of it. And then vibe check comes and gets a 2-1 and then pack is able to tie it up last minute or last seconds, I should say, honestly. Nice send off downfield. Easy setup and save though by Ghost. That's a nice bump. He's got enough turbo. He's able to push back one of these extra hundo, but his hundo is starved. So now he's only got nine in the chamber to play with, but it's enough. Oh, his partner got too aggressive and ricocheted off. That might cost him. That could have tied them up. Remember, I told you about that, uh, that crossbar. That crossbar is not a, not a friend of it all. Can they redeem themselves? No. Oh, that was a nice pinch. Ball flying downfield, but unfortunately, Pack pinched it the wrong way when he shouldn't have. Ghost Killer misses it. Ball flying here. Ghost Killer should be able to send this down with his partner, but nope, no need. Vibes is able to counter it. Can he get it past him? It is a nice chip shot, but it is over the wall. Oh, this should be a good shot. Smoke or s'mores over here trying to get some uh, get some good angles going on. Oh, and just like that, s'mores <laughs> will knock it in. But it, that was a little help from their opponents. The opponents able to think they're going to save it, and unfortunately, it rolls the wrong direction. We are gonna give a quick shout out to Sylvia Patterson with that $50 donation to Camp Quality. We appreciate you, Sylvia, and thank you for tuning in and helping these great kids out. You're one of the real MVPs around here. If you guys, like I said, would also like to donate, if you're in the stream, just type in hashtag or exclamation point donate, or you go to campquality.org forward slash Rocket League to donate as well. Like I said, we appreciate you guys tuning in. We're gonna get some more action with a minute 52 left on the clock. The pack currently up or down 0 2 to Vibe Check. This is game two. So if Vibe Check can hold on, it will go to a game three. Minute 30 on the clock. Ball dangerously in the blue hand corner. Pack and then they don't want to go down anymore. They want to score here. They want to score quick. Oh, he tactical whiffed on that one. And ooh, that crossbar is not in that favor right there for both teams, it seems like. A 
Minute 05, here comes that timer that it might scare you if you're down, especially when it goes right there. It's about to tell you, hey, you better score or you're gonna be losing this bad boy. Forty-five seconds. So here's the thing: if Pack wants to take this back and win it and shut them out in a 2-0 series, well, there's a start. <laughs> I was gonna say, even though you might see, oh, there's a minute left on the clock, you don't want to use a score of one goal. You want to give yourself plenty of time. So in that, I always tell my teammates, hey, there's a minute left. We need to score within the next 20 seconds each to give us a cushion in case something happens. Orange goal currently, that's a nice pinch. Is it too much of a roll up? And it will be. Ball sent back down on blue side. Like I said right now, if the pack wants anything to do with this, they're gonna have to get this ball and push it back. Hardcore. There's a one push. There's a nice land. That is a good pinch. That is a good setup. Can they get anything? No, his partner was too far back. Beautiful roll -outs, beautiful setup. Here comes the final seconds. Can they do something with it? And not in that ball go in that direction, they can't. Here comes the Hail Mary from a distance. No need, and it will be going to Vibe Check. Vibe Check and the pack have game three coming up after these uh, transitions, actually. But we are going to load into another game real quick and watch this one come out. We've got Demo Man versus Takeoff Esports, currently with a 4 1 and 45 seconds on the clock, which means. Once this finishes up, we are going to get into game three and see who will win from the pack and vibe. If you guys are friends right now, either team in the chat, let us know what you think. Because currently it is a 5-1 for demo men right now. Nice rollout shot. 33 seconds left. This is all demo men for this bad boy. Don't know if this is game one or game two, but... Whew. Here's the thing, though, too. You might see some teams get, as we called, throttled, but it doesn't mean they're bad. It doesn't mean that they're terrible either. It could be, you know, especially if it's a tournament, sometimes people are, they got to get their hands warm up. I've, I've played professional esports for a long time, and even I've had bad days, or my hands are cold, or I just wasn't ready mentally, and it can show. But at the same time, no matter if you win or lose, you just grind it up. Plus, these guys are playing right now. Yes, they're playing for some money, but at the same time, they're also helping rep, you know, camp quality for what it brings. And like I said, this is helping those kiddos get some, you know, amazing benefits from everything because they deserve they deserve the most. You know, they're the real MVPs. Like try battling everything out while we get to, you know, try to help out and just you know be a small part of their big worlds. And that is going to be it. This is going to be a 6-1 situation. Demo Men will be taking this against Takeoff Esports. And like I said, if I'm correct, we are going to get into that Game 3 coming up, which was Vibe Check and Pack. Because, like I said, it's going to be a good one. Especially, look at the stats there, too. You can see that was a 5. Let's see here. That's a, that's a lot of shots. I mean, so they had some good saves right there. But sometimes, sometimes it happens. They're actually waiting for them to load into their game. So we have <laughs> Revenge of the Beef Stick Tomatoes versus Camping and Lambda. I love name. It reminds me of a Halo 4 team whenever I was down in Dallas in 2012. They were big Pokemon people, and their name was Massage My Diglets. So, I mean, you, you can't get any class here. Some, some of the names are just like, how did you come up with that? Right now, it is a 1-0 lead for Campin and Lampin with 420 left on the clock. Kickoff right now, 415 over here on the clock. Boom, Static, and Slata. Like I said, they're, they're, he's, he's down a little bit right now. Oh, this is the nice setup, and it will be 0-2 for camping and lamping right now. Those beef stick tomatoes 
they need to either make some jerky out of that beef stick or something because it's not working right now and they're getting chewed up. Ball dangerously in the orange corner. SP trying to get something going to help his partner out. Able to get a nice push off the wall, but will it be enough? It will be, but right now, especially Tomatoes, Tomatoes needs to get it out of their corner. They've got to get it back on orange. There's only, like I said, there's plenty of time on it, but you don't want to milk it too far down like we mentioned before. Nice pinch off the rip. Ball flying midcourt, redirected by orange. However, it was re back, back. That might go in, and it will. Nice bounce. Ball coming to the side. Gotta get the turbo over here. Actually, that turbo is, did it get picked up? It did get picked up. It looked like it was picked up by Mango right there. Ball bouncing dangerously in front of the goal. Luckily, hit off the top of the rift. Oh, they both whipped it. This might be a shot coming up here. Ball rolling back towards uh, Beefstick's side, though. Beefstick needs to get it back out. Like I said, there's plenty of time, but you do not want to get caught. Ooh -hoo. That could have been a corner camping, camping, lamping, packing it in. But luckily, luckily, they missed it. Oh no, he missed it. That was one of the easiest saves ever. And you know, he's living right now. That was a slow bouncer roller in her. And... Two twenty-four left on the clock. I'm gonna sit back here for a little bit and see, let's see if a uh, beef stick can get something figured out with a <laughs> demo off the kickoff. Oh, that's a nice setup. Will it be enough? It will be. Boomstick over here. Or Beefstick coming in with that nice chip shot off the side. Nice setup there by Manga. Look at that corner shot. Nice. Ball rolling in the side of orange. Uh-oh. Chick Lim over here trying to get something going. Nice push out, nice save. Ball is now redirected again on the left hand side. Looks like it's going to be bouncing around towards the front of their goal. Mango right now trying to get something going. It is countered and stopped. They've got to get back though. And just like that, that's what happens if you don't get back. If you rotate too quick, Chicklim over here is just knocking in some easy goals with a 4-2 lead with a minute 40 left. Chicklick over here trying to get some more action and another easy goal with a 5-2. They are starting to run away with it. old camp and a lamp and is. Oh, this might be the shot. No, he missed it. That would have been an easy goal that they needed, and he just whiffed the crap out of it. Mango, what are you doing, bro? That's going to come back and haunt him just like that whiff did earlier. Orange is coming up. Chicklick right now trying to get something going. They've got to score literally three goals in a minute. Is it possible? Yes. Is it frustrating as hell? Double yes. 
But if this goes in, and it looks like it might, unless they can stop it, this might be the nail on the coffin. And that is the nail on the coffin we speak of. Well, Campin' and Lampin' just took it to Beefstick Tomatoes. And so with that being said, once my production guys get ready, we will transition to another game because there is no way possible Beefstick is going to be able to climb back from this. We can roll with it a little bit just to see what happens. Mango right now, trying to get some action going there though. Now, here's the thing, if if Boomstick, or Beefstick would have actually like hit it right off the rip, they could have made something out of it, but now with it being a 7-2, there's, there's no way possible. So we'll have to wait to see how the next game comes and we'll roll with that. So we've got DVPPY versus Poet Esports Purple, dose number two. So there's two purple esports teams that are inside here. <laughs> Defend my cracker. Some of these names, I swear. Wash over here. Trying to get something going. It's the Mac Peru YouTube. So I'm assuming if you guys are a YouTube fan, be sure to check it out. He's got his advertisement on there. Maybe you might have some good content you want to see. If you guys are also new to the Rocket League scene or esports in general and you want to get more information too, head on over to clickgaming.gg and you can see all of our past events, all of our upcoming events from grassroots to majors that we do you can also go to battlefy.com forward slash click gaming you can find more information and stuff on there and if you get the discord from there you can actually see all the other events we do outside of click gaming because i work with everything from uh major league gaming when they're around dream hacks out by southwest uh game gym i also work with uh pro guide so there's multiple events that you and your friends can get sweaty in and have fun like tomorrow is the 4v4 hundred dollar call of duty black ops cold war tournament and so that'll be good too and then uh if you're actually a fan of overwatch on december 5th there's going to be a 6v6 six hundred dollar event you can find over on gamegym.com and i will be physically casting that event up in maryland so i'll be flying from oklahoma out that way but back to what we got here with this camp quality action. DVPPY up over Poet Esports Purple. 2-0, minute 15 left. Can Purple number two get it? We'll find out. We actually do Brawlhalla tournaments for our friends that are asking. Uh, we need to add some more on there. The last one we did, I think we had about 60 or so amazing competitors on there. And it's fun to watch. Don't get me wrong, I like Smash. But Brawlhalla, it's different and it's free. And also the net coding doesn't suck compared to Nintendo Switch. So, um, if you would like some Brawlhalla tournaments, let us know what you would feel. Uh, would you like one? Would you like teams? What floats your boat? Let us know, and I will talk with my production in my ears uh, whenever we roll some commercials and see what we can figure out for you guys. But if you, like I said, uh, be sure to head over to battlefy.com forward slash click gaming, or like I said, if you can join our Discord, that is where most of everything is at from everybody we work with, because we don't want you to miss out on it on a simple chance. But with that being said, uh oh, can Purple get a kickoff? from hell to bounce off the corner and go into that goal. I've seen crazier things happen. We're about to find out. Let's see what they can do. Can they keep it up? Nope, and that ball will die down. Purple, at least purple got some points on the board. It might have been last second, but they got some action going there. So DVPPY coming in hot with the first rodeo on that. 
And now we have Spaceballs versus Lamar Gamers with a 1-0 quick lead. And that is a quick another shot here by TTV Log. Like I said, Spaceballs up on a 2-0 with 243 left. Ball flying in the backhand corner. Chip shot coming in. This might be a dunk. Oh, and off the rip on the side. And it is a quick, another 3 0 lead here. Spaceballs in command over Lamar Gamers right now. Nice chip shot, and finally some points on the board. The Lamar Gamers at a 2-10, 1-3 deficit. They need to climb back if they want to get this. Oh, can that go in? Oh, it was so close. Minute 50 right now on the clock coming in. 3 1 lead still for Spaceballs. Ball flying. The orange goal. This is not good for Lamar. Can they go? He ricocheted off the front of his car and it went in 4 1. Nice air dribble coming in, 5-1. This is all space balls all the time right now versus Lamar Gamers. We're about to see a Brazilian coming up here because this is uh, this is getting a little out of hand right now, my friend. With that beautiful demo, we call that the magic trick. <laughs> Another demo coming off. This is just getting out. Oh, he almost chipped it in there, but no need. His partner was able to come back there. That was an alley oop off the rim, bouncing back and slamming it in. And it, it looks like uh, Lamar Gamers, it looks like they're possibly leaving the match. If I seen that correctly, I could be wrong. Dry fruits net coming in. Yeah, it is just dry that is left. So, since this game is pretty much underway, we are about to roll a quick commercial. This is going to be Camp at Home. And it is Camp Quality is a national charitable organization that provides summer camps and programs for children affected by cancer, free of charge. This year, we weren't able to run in-person camp due to COVID-19, which so many of us understand perfectly. Since kids with cancer experience isolation way before social distancing was put into place, it is so important for them to have a community to connect to during the same time. So take a look at this camp quality from home program from the past summer, and we hope you guys enjoy it. 
Anyone playing at today's tournament can also support Camp Quality by donating at campquality.org forward slash Rocket League. And we'll be right back. Hey guys, we are so excited to be doing virtual camp. Alrighty, as I kick my printer underneath my desk, getting some action here in uh, Quilly Woo's Bros. Are currently 3 0 against the Oofs. Currently, like I said, this is this is all Quilio's right now. This is a 2.58 on the clock. Look at that juke jive and slam in the side. Nice shot going on there. 250 off the clock here, though. This is currently all bros all the time. But oofs right now. I haven't got a chance to see how much they're playing. Nice aerial dribbles there by Quill. Nice explosion there. This is a perfect setup if they can get it. It was a 2-1 situation, but nothing was able to come from it. Oofs right now, coming downfield. They need to get something going here. Eris right now, just doing some fancy air dribbling. So far, it looks like the bros over here, they've got some, uh, they might be some higher quality players on there. Especially how this is open. This can consist of anybody from the unranked all the way to the Grandmaster sweaty rank, so... How we do it too is we shuffle these things and sometimes you'll get some good opponents, sometimes you'll get some easy blowouts, and sometimes you'll be the one getting blown out. So <laughs> you gotta roll with the punches and always take each game as it's just the beginning of each step, no matter how big or how bad it might be. So right now, minute 25 on the clock. This is pretty much going all all bros right now, and I, it's going to be hard for Oofs to come around and get something going. I don't even know what's going to happen with these guys, but hopefully, hopefully they can recount on themselves in the next match because they need something. Minute 05 coming up right now. Boney Johnny trying to get some action going. Minute timer about to ding ding on him. Oh, that's a nice shot downfield, but it, unfortunately it was wide right, like my Texas Longhorns field goal to win against Iowa State did not work. And that's what happens sometimes, my friends. Ball bouncing back down the corner. This could be a possible easy shot. There's a good bounce. Another good counter. Oh, but no luck. I thought he was going to maybe try to fly inside there. Quill right now, doing what he can just to be the annoying little pest in the corner. <laughs> Look at that fancy air dribbling. I don't know if he was just you know joking around trying to set his opponent up just to be nice or just to troll, but here comes the final 
15 to 10 seconds coming in. And this is going to be going for, if this is game one, the Bros will be taking game one action in a 4 0 commanding lead right now. All right, now we have Tej versus. How am I gonna say that word? Allah was your cut. I don't even know. We're gonna call him Eli. That's all. His name is Eli. <laughs> I'm trying to see how I would say that. Eli. We'll go. Yeah, I, I don't even know how I'm gonna say their name. So you're just gonna be Eli for right now, brother. So Tej versus Eli, two two, currently tied up. Nice save right there. I'm surprised that Orange did not go for a kickoff. Is that going to go in? It will. Okay. Okay. Sit back there, let it fly in, and just take it to town. Forty-five currently left on the clock. Three-two in favor of Eli and Company. Tej is trying to do some work themselves, but no need. Can't save it. Two-four currently. This is not going to be good. There's still plenty of time, but right now Eli and them, especially with Wavy doing some work, flying in and just dunking in that corner. Another great shot. Tej now trying to climb back 3-4. This is a this is gonna be like that Mike Tyson match later on. Just a bunch of people duking it back and forth. Oh, can he get rolling? Oh, I thought he was going to try to save it there. 3 5. Eli, right now, they, like, they're doing some work. I like this. <laughs> I don't know what these opponents are doing. But these are some quick goals back. This is going to be one of the longest games I think we've seen. With the whiff off the rip, the dodge missed it too, and now it is a 4-5. Can Teach come back? Like I said, with how this is going, they just need a good solid stop, and they can tie this up if not take the lead. Oh, that chip shot was going in. Nice, nice counter right there. And, oh, he crossbarred it out. He had it, too. That could have been the tie. King right now trying to get some work going. Drained down with only three. Finally picking the turbos up. Gets the side of his car. Ankle's broken. Oh, nice recount of push. Young Evo right now. He's trying to kind of set back, but no need. His opponent misses it completely. He's going to try to wall ride this up if the turbo gets up. Picks it up. Let's see if he does some aerial stunts here. No, he's just going to push it back and forth. I think they're either trying to go for a pinch in the sky or what. I'm not entirely sure. And now it is a 4-6. Eli is trying to hold on right now because like I said, both these players are going back. Now we've seen this a couple times. They would score and then Tej would immediately score right off the rip. So let's see if Tej can recounter like we've seen so many times or have they worn out their welcome and pushed too many times.
50 seconds left on the clock. Right now, Blue and company over at Tej, they need to get what they can going. We've seen them score, but they've already milked a good 20 plus seconds. Here comes 30 seconds off the clock. Nice counter, nice bounce. Nothing indirect of that. Here comes the final 10 seconds. And this looks like Eli and company might take this unless for whatever reason, Blue can get a good push in, but that is gonna be it. Eli will run away with game number one right here. As this ball goes down and kills off, we are gonna be flipping to the next game coming up real soon. I wonder if FSU is Florida State University. Maybe. And we've seen Vibe Check earlier, so clearly Vibe Check beat the pack in that game three to push on. G.I. Joel. <laughs> nice name right there he's got. We need some Cobra Kai, or not Cobra Kai. Oh, who was it? Uh... It was just Cobra, wasn't it, for the G.I. Joe series? That's what I thought. I was thinking Cobra Kai, and that's the Karate Kid. I was like, ah, I'm hearing too many Cobras nowadays. Nice shot. Nice save, though. Beautiful save there by Castia. G.I. Joel trying to get some action going. They are down currently 1-2. to two. Vibes right now. Do oh, that might float in. It's teeter tottering right there. Nope, you gotta be careful. Ooh. <laughs> he was able to get that push out, but the ball is rolling right back down to it. This is gonna be dangerous again, and it will be dangerous. Vibes now 3 1 against FSU. Right now, Moore is doing some work there too. Looks like FSU, they had some strong shots when we first came in here, but they are slowly starting to trickle down a little bit. I know real quick, while we uh, while we have this lovely action going with a minute 15 left, I'm gonna look at the bracket real quick. I wanna see exactly where we are at to let you guys know how far in we are. So we are currently in some of winner's bracket two and some of winner brackets three are currently going, as well as the loser. So Lexa, this bad boy is going pretty quick here. Uh, it looks like we will have one, two, three, four, five, uh, this goes all the way to round six for winners until you get to grand finals and then from there losers has to go all the way to round 10 and we'll get up there so uh, if you guys like Rocket League you get another good uh, three and a half four hours of love coming your way here comes the kickoff right now vibe checking a commanding lead against Florida State University and I'm just gonna call them that because that's what FSU for me stands for 40 seconds. Nice shot there by G.I. Joel. We are going to be flipping to another game here because there is no way that FSU can recounter and come back. 28 seconds though on the clock and here we are into some 1-0. This is Eli versus Tej. We've seen these two duke it out a while ago with Eli taking it against them. Nice counter flip there with the front axle twist. Can it go in and drive it? He will.
finally TJ able to put some extra points here. We've seen this earlier where they'll start scoring back and forth and eventually someone's gonna get tired from punching so much. five left on the clock right now. Eli and company trying to get some action going. Kill Mooch over here. Kill Much. It was trying to get some action going. Wavy now pushing it back mid-court. Going on the far left-hand side. He should pick up this turbo. He does. Flips it around. Will this be enough getting that fresh hundo? It rolls off the front of this car. Uh oh, this might be the setup dunk he wanted. Oh, he got too far. He was... Here, here's the thing. He got too far of underneath it and was not able to slam it down. If he would have got on top or even let it float a little more, he could have got it. But, oh, again. Again with the double shots as his partner literally just sits back and just lets him 2v1 the entire other team. So right now... 2.10 off the clock. Hopefully Eli and the company can hold on strong. If not, we're going to go into game three coming up. Ball transition left-hand side. Back, finally back to the right. Mulch, or much right now is trying to recounter. There is two in goal. Here's the thing, too, that I was taught by some grand champions, and this is about to be why. You never want to stand still in the goal because of reasons like that. You don't know if the ball is gonna bounce, if it's gonna go straight at you sideways. You don't know what's gonna happen. And it's gonna cost you. I was always told at least try to like drive around and be patient, even though it looks like we do have a player that is AFK currently, which uh, hopefully he can come back to it because I mean, the rule of thumb is, is once you score that goal, uh, yeah, he's back now. Once you score that goal, if it's been the after the 30 second mark this game continues and you better get yourself back into it oh you gotta be careful he's trapped on sniper corner as i call it two two situation if you guys are tuning into the stream though and you would like to donate to camp quality hit that exclamation point donation button and it'll pull up or you can also go to campquality.org forward slash rocket league did he just really just break both their ankles wow Where's my Owen Wilson? Wow, at the moment. Uh, this, uh, this tournament also, outside of camp quality, is brought to you by CI Investments and CI Global Asset Management. CI Global Asset Management is one of Canada's largest investment fund companies. About 1.3 million Canadians trust us to help realize their financial goals. CI is a proud partner with financial advisors across Canada who offer our funds to clients. We believe investors are most successful when they follow a sound. Thank you to CI Global Assessment Management and also, uh, like I said, Camp Quality. We appreciate you guys. Oh, that's gonna be an easy shot on goal unless they can save it and they are able to get down while they're rocking that Canadian flag on there. Oh, nice save again. Can they get up and push it back? Eli is 30 seconds away from taking this and advancing farther in the winner's bracket. And like I said, if you guys are also new and want to play in more events outside of Rocket League to Apex, Call of Duty, whatever, be sure and follow us on battlefy.com forward slash click gaming or you can go over to clickgaming.gg. But most importantly is when you go to either one of those, get inside the Discord. That's where you find every event that we do, including extra. Plus we have community nights with like playing Among Us or we'll play Fall Guys or a variety of things. And then on top of that, you can also see like uh, epic food gamer bites we make, food porn as we call it. So there's so many aspects of being inside there because we're like just being a community, you know? It's great. <laughs> Stupid fun gamers versus FTC. So SFG currently is up 1-0. Oh.
FTC currently up right now. One. Oh. SFG though. Like I said, they're so far from seeing. Look at the stats whenever I can on the blue side and orange side. They both got some pretty good side shots on goal. Now here's the thing. Look at Naruto's stats right there. He's only got six points, which means he's only touched the ball three times. Three twelve right now. This is all blue. Looking like so. If you pay attention to stats, you can see process there. He's got some good points on there. He's got two shots on goal with only one that went in. He's literally just trolling, making the ball go back and forth. Oh, he breaks one ankles. He breaks two ankles. He even breaks his, his teammate's axle there. Ball flying in. This could be a shot. I think he's just having too much fun with the ball. He's literally just pushing it around. So Drez, I, I recognize Drez myself. So Drez was actually, he qualified for our $1,800 game gym tournament series that's coming up with ones, twos, and threes on. He's a really good player. And just like that now, it's a 2-0. SFG needs to figure something out because I haven't seen much ball touch off of either one of them. Oh, Timo is going left and right out of there. This is going, oh, it hits the crossbar. Can this be enough to get the ball forward? Minute 20 on the clock right now. Blue is currently, like I said, I don't know what Orange is doing. Either A, they just can't get a hold of the ball, or B, it's just not working in their favor. Because both opponents from Process and Dre's both have it. You can see right there, Naruto only has 20 points from pushing on the ball. Like I said, he might be a rookie player too, while his opponent or his teammate has 217 with one shot and one save. So either A, his teammate just needs to get the, uh, the pre-game jitters out of the way, or B, he needs to uh, reevaluate some tournament ideas. But with that being said, 3-0, 43 seconds left. We are going to flip games real quick because this one here is pretty much, as you can tell, all FTC. Campin and Lampin versus Vibe Check. We've seen Campin and Lampin earlier, and we've both seen Vibe Check too. This here should actually be winners round three, if I'm correct, as the demo explodes. Let's pull this lovely bracket up. We are actually all in game three. Yep, this is C number 50 in case you were following the bracket right now, my friends. And Vibes himself able to tie this up with a 1-1 situation versus Camp and Lampin. This is going to be a, a good matchup, it seems like. So here's what's great too about how our brackets work. We like so we shuffle them multiple times. Uh, just, just hearing production in my left ear over here. 
looking at the loser's bracket, there's actually two teams that have signed up because it's version one and version two, which is both Poet Esports Purple. So one of them is about to see who the better one is. Uh, we'll have to see how far that goes, but that is in losers round three. L33 likes to be falling the bracket. But with that being said, vibe check currently 2 1 up over Campin and Lampin. Ball dying down in the mid. 420 stylus able to push it up, but it is redirected back down. Chicklim over here trying to get some action going too. I don't know how I feel about Chicklim's uh, boost right there. It seems it seems weird. Like I use the snowflakes on mine, and my my uh, handle is also Peppermint Powerhouse, just because you know I like just playing with people. But with that being said, Vibe Check is currently up in a three-one situation. Camping and Lamp, and they've got a uh, either stop camping or they're going to be uh, packing those tents up real quick. PGN Vibes right now, knocking some corners over here, trying to get the ball pushed. It is still back in the corner again. They've got to be careful though, because as you can tell from what Smore just countered, if you hit it off that wall just right, it will ricochet and bounce towards the goal. Like right there, people don't understand that wall is curved for a reason. And if you understand how physics and gravity works, it'll roll right to it. Ball should go in. This should be an sh easy shot, and it will be. Chicklin finally able to help some extra stuff there. Two to four. Minute 51 on the clock. Speaking of past turkey days, did anybody uh, get out with anything good on Black Friday? Did anybody get any new Xbox or PlayStation series? Uh, I'm, I myself am an old guy, and uh, you know I've been checking out the uh, KitchenAid mixers because I like to cook, and I was like, so Best Buy actually had one on sale for $199 and they retail $4.99 off the rip. I was like, that's not a bad deal. <laughs> but yeah, so speaking of uh, the Xbox Series X's, when I was also on Pest by friends like, hey, they're in stock. I was like, oh, cool. So I go there and I check and on my phone, both of them said, oh yeah, it's in stock. And then when you click it, it's like, well, before you can you know, put this in your cart, you have to please click this and click this. Of course, it's not working. So then I go to a, the physical site on here and actually my side uh paired up let me look here real quick let's refresh this so it shows that the yeah they're both sold out now so earlier the white one s was available but every time you click it it would just reroute itself back so i'm pretty sure that they sold out crazy like again but for those who shop consoles you know it's smart to always wait because the first series always have some kind of bugs in them it's always like that but back in the action, Chicklim over here with Campin and Lampin down by one goal. Minute timer on the rip. Oh, that could have been an easy setup if he was back a little bit farther, but he was not ready for it to push through that quick. Ball flying. Can he get it? No, it is able to be recountered back. I said Campin and Lampin need some kind of action to go on here. Oh, it's too close to that crossbar. It was not the right angle they needed. They are able to push it back, but we know that ball is going to be redirected. 30-second timer on there. Can Chicklick and company get something to push it back? There's one push. Oh, he tried counter. He jumped too quick. Did he? Oh, he almost bit the bolt on that one jumping out. 15 seconds. Can Campin and Lampin get something going? Or will the big boogeyman of uh, you know Sasquatch take down their campsite? Because so far, Vibe Check is about to check them out. They've got to keep the ball alive. And no, it will not. Vibe Check will take this game one versus Camp and Lip. I can't wait to see what game two is going to consist of. Now we have Eli versus Misplaced Loads 101. Speaking of loads, I need to go do some laundry after this tournament because uh, I got back and I got a lot of clothes that I need to get cleaned up before I go to Maryland. But with that being said, 2-2 two, two currently for Misplaced.
So right now, 213 on the clock here. Misplaced. Taking the lead. Wavy over here trying to get some action. Oh, he's trying to get a good little spiral going in there. Nice redirect counter. Right now, Eli is actually down. And really down now, being a 4-2 situation. Two goals by misplaced loads, 101. a beautiful save but it won't be enough three four eli is saying we're not going down without a fight can they recounter up with a minute and a half and tie this bad boy for will misplace loads take this game one series over them Shot sent back downfield. This should be a good roller. This actually, is, that had enough ump to literally get it back to half field. This could roll in. It's off the top. Can he get it? He does. 4-4 four, tie. Four, that was a long bomb from downtown with a follow through. This might be another good shot. Nope. Delve able to get something going. Can Eli and company hold this streak? They've came back from a 4-2 deficit. Minute up on there. Bouncing back around. Oh, he's able to counter. Nice demo there off the side. And Eli able to finally take the lead on a 5-4, 37 seconds on the clock. Nice shots coming around the side. Here comes the final 30 seconds. Can misplaced loads figure out how to recounter? Because right now, Eli is on a 3 0 clapback and it is not looking pretty. Ball is trying to roll down. Unfortunately, he gets stopped. This might be the nail in the coffin if they can set it up just right. Ooh, nice save though on the side. Final 10 seconds coming up. They know they've got to work both these angles right. There's one over loop. Oh, but can they get it back? And this looks like he's got to keep it airborne. Here comes the most important <laughs> flights of your time. Oh, and it will be stopped. Nice save there by Wavy. And Eli with the 3 0 comeback. Speaking of comebacks, Campen and Leppin are currently up against Vibe Check when we just seen them go down a little bit there last time against Vibe Check. Two minutes right now, remaining on the clock. Oh, this might be a chip shot if it rolls down, and it will be. Vibe check able to get that nice counter push off the side with the angry storm cloud to say, what up? It's 
sounds like a very angry clown from what it just sounded like. It sounded like a sumo wrestler clown. Minute 25 right now remaining as my cat decides to say hello. Since I've been gone, he's been uh, he's been kind of up my booty a little bit because he's missed his daddy. But it happens. Oh, I thought for a second five check was about to get another quick goal. Minute 07 left on the clock here. Nice recounter save back. Oh, this is a good shot. Can they get it? Oh, he does. Look at that. 2-2. Two, two. Nice off the wall setup. Here's a question Can Camp and Olympian hold on? They were up 2 0. And right now, Vibe Check is just climbing and battling this bat. Camp and Olympian, though, oh, he had a good shot on goal and he missed it, and his partner knows he did. See right now, he's being smart. He rotated back because he's waiting to see what happens. But this might be a ooh, he, good. He met him up there because he was about to try to dribble it over his head. Ball lined up in front of goal. That might be the nail in the coffin again. Five check over here, climbing back with another 3 0 clap back. Can Campen and Lampen re-push this and go to an overtime? They had a, such a commanding lead and then just let Vibe Check just crawl back inside of it. Here comes the final 10 seconds. This might be what they need. He gets past one opponent, but the ball is redirected back towards the side again. Can he get it in? He does! We are going into overtime again, my friends. They've got to keep it above. This might be good. This might be bad. If I was him, just let it die. Yeah, there's no need to be hero and try to get it going. Chick limb right now. Trying to get something going. A little fancy work. They camping and lamping. If they want to continue on with this winner's bracket, they've got to do something. They've got to push it past them and force a game three. Especially being up 2 0 then to have a 3 2 and literally overtime it up basically right at the very end with a nice off the wall chip shot front end loader. Oh, he whiffed it. He whiffed it. You've got to be careful. As much as you want to fly around and be fancy, you're leaving that goal wide open while your teammate is away from you. And Vibe Check, four to three. So Vibe Check will progress over Campin and Lampin, sending them down to the loser's bracket. We see this earlier where misplaced loads where Eli was able to come and do some dirty work on him. Nice save right there. 2.40 on the clock. Eli is currently up 4-1. Might be a 5-1 if this works in their favor.
say, watching both these guys play, it's just crazy how... I notice a lot of the uh, higher caliber players, they don't like to stay on the ground, they like to just fly in the air. With that being said though, Mac Daddy with his loads coming in there with a 4-2, he's got to be able to put two more in there where his partner does if they want to keep this up and keep going on. Uh oh, Ooh, nice save right there. Thought Wavy was about to make it a 5 2 situation. Ball flying back down by Mac. And he does go in. Loads is not giving up. Mac Daddy is coming in there and be like, hey, I'm going to be your step, your step daddy real quick, my friends, because uh, I'm here to stay. Nice fancy air dribbles, and Eli finally able to stop the bleeding from it being tied up, knocking it to that with a five to three. Beautiful aerial dribbles too. And that is going to be pretty much all Eli on this, the way it looks. Minute 19 left. You still can't climb back, but with how Loads is kind of playing, they're kind of playing sloppy right now. <laughs> right now, Young is just like, you know what? You go have some fun with him. I'm going to sit back. Oh, <laughs> that or maybe his controller was AFK. This might be the break that misplaced loads needs. I mean, it would suck if, you're, uh, if your buddy's stuff is down. Here's the thing, they need to counter this. They're they're literally having an opponent that is AFK. You just gotta either pretty much A demo the one that is out there trying his heart out. Or pretty much which is bully him, just box him around. Because he's literally keeping the ball from going in. 30 seconds left. Wabby doing the dirty. Oh, and Wabby will secure a 2v1 situation. Eli and company are like, you know what? Bet. With this one coming up, I am gonna take a quick water break myself. We will run a quick commercial before we do get into that, but we'll wait till this match finishes up. Oh, seven, five, we don't know if they can push it. They might get a, uh, they might <laughs> be able to tie this back up. If you guys are also, like I said, up in the Canadian region and you want to check out some esports action, check out Moratory Esports. I've known the gentleman that operates it for quite some time. This guy actually came down to Oklahoma to come check out an event, and then we re met up in Anaheim at DreamHack. And like I said, with that being said, as this bad boy dies down, because well, let's see if he can make it in. Nope, he won't. We're actually gonna run a quick commercial, but before we do that, I'm gonna give a little quick area of what it is. This is actually the Alberta commercial. So 
Camp Quality is a national charitable organization that provides summer camps and prog uh, programs to children affected by cancer free of charge. Having a child with can cancer can be a huge financial burden on a family, so they also offer family camp weekends free of charge. Here's a look at what they have to offer at the family camp. And also, all of Camp Quality's family programs are possible due to generous support of people just like you who donate to the cause. So if you want to support more, check out campquality.org forward slash Rocket League. We're going to roll that commercial. You did it! <laughs> camp Quality is a camp for children with cancer as well as their families, siblings. We run programs during the summer as well as throughout the year. Uh, right now you're looking at family camp, so we have families from all over Alberta and BC. It's a really great opportunity to give these kids and the families an opportunity to get away from some of the things that they're facing. It's amazing to see these kids that have never met each other before just all of a sudden like, build these amazing friendships. It's allowed them to grow, it's allowed them to be part of a community where it's okay to have missing limbs, it's okay to have bald hair, it's, it's you're not separated out. My son, he has an artificial eye, and it's okay. My son, he wears hearing aids, that's okay. Hey, that was awesome. There's no expense to the families, all of our funds are, are covered by fundraising, our, our staff are volunteers from the community. <laughs> this is Camp Quality.
What's up, people? Sorry I missed y'all a little bit. I'm gonna take a water break, and I was like, you know what? I am actually really hungry, so I took a snack break. <laughs> but coming up here, we seen a while ago, Vibe Check go down to Queelys 3-2. However, they are trying to crawl back in this Game 2 series. Ball currently flying on the left-hand side. Turbo will be picked up. It is. Oh, he was looking for the side carry. S'mores tries to get stuff, but does able to push it out. But he's got to get in the air to block this. And no need. 4-2 to two currently for Coolia Bros. And now it is a 5-2. Quilly Bros is just... They're doing some dirty right now in Vibecheck. We've seen Vibecheck do some dirty on others, and now it looks like they might have got that matchup we talked about to where you might have some good matches, you might have some bad matches, and right now they might be getting a little, little out of their class reign, I guess you could say. Look at that aerial stuff by Quill. Quill just barrel rolling it in there. If you're also in the Discord, you can actually go to an area that we have on there in the tournament called Live Brackets, my friends, and you can follow along with the brackets just like the rest of us. With that being said, minute 40 on the clock, 6-2, currently in Freddy Bear Bros. Vibe Check is going to have a hard time trying to come out of this deficit. Look at that e-break action into the back tuck flip. Demos left and right. Minute 07 on the clock here. You can tell right now with Blue looking at Quill Bros, one of them is just dancing over there in the end zone. So this is gonna be all she wrote and Queer Bros will be going on. That being said, Currently, we have a couple of, so this is a round four, going on to round five, so we're getting into the semifinals. This is quarterfinals. This is gonna be semis coming up, my friends. The loser's bracket is, like I said, right now, it's in its final best of one series, and they'll be returning back to best of three as well. Here comes the final 10 seconds, and Quilio Wells Bros will be pushing on, sending Vibe Check down to the losers. So, with that being said, I'm looking at the bracket right now. Yep, this is FTC and Chill Gang. This, let me look here, where is FTC and Chill Gang? Yeah, there it is. So this is another quarterfinal match. With the other one being Spaceballs and uh, Eli, as we were calling them. Currently, though, FTC is in the lead right now, like I said. I know FTC from them being in a couple of our events as well. Nice pushback, trying to keep it away. Dre's and company just enjoying to having a little fun there. Tw 
20 seconds left on the clock. Oh, that was a nice little bounce up there. And crossbars. I say whenever I play Rocket League, our team name is Crossbar Studs. That's all we hit, just crossbars. It sucks. <laughs> My foot again. So, before the event, I rearranged the uh, game room of mine, and I keep forgetting about that my uh, my printer being like directly underneath my foot. So as you can tell from that, uh, I keep kicking the darn thing. <clears throat> but with that being said, like I said, this is a camp quality event. You know, they're one of the big sponsors help putting this on, and also, uh, you know, we also have the. There's a bunch of other things from camp quality. Let's see here. Let me pull up what I had, and I will tell you guys real quick. Like do 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 do. Do, 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 do. We also have a CI Investments and CI Global Asset Management. With that being said, CI Global Asset Management is one of Canada's largest investor funding companies. About 1.3 million Canadians trust us to help realize their financial goals. CI is a proud partner with financial advisors across Canada who offer our funds to their clients. We believe investors are most successful when they follow the sound. So with that being said, like I said, we appreciate them and we appreciate you guys. And like I said, if you're actually on here and you want to uh, donate, you can either go to the stream, you can type in uh, exclamation point donate, or you can also go to the uh, the site, which is campquality.org forward slash rocket league as I have a fly, like fly around my head. Just be annoying. <laughs> uh, but with that being said, we're actually going to roll a quick click gaming commercial. Then we're going to get right to that action, my friends. Oh, actually, for here in production, they, mind, they are ready with the match coming. So we're going to get right to that match. Just kidding. So <laughs> I'm just laughing at production in my ear. Uh, so far, FTC, we've seen earlier. Being up on here. One, oh, ooh, that ball was about to roll in. Speaking of commercials for my production team, I did actually make a, uh, a be right back picture thing of like physical events and this and that. I need to send it over sometime. <clears throat> but that being said, oh, process had a good ringer on that, but could not clutch it in. Nice shot right there. Nice shot there by Drez, though. Coming off the rip, bounce off the side. Nice shot again. This is a 3-0 Chili Gang. Chili Gang needs to go find some hot dogs and start just sitting on the couch because it's not going too well in their favor. Maybe it's because they had beans. I don't know. I mean, it, it depends on chili. Sometimes I like uh, I like some beans, but I also prefer a big, nice, and spicy one. On the clucker now. FTC coming in strong. About to possibly bank this in again, and they do. Their opponent was literally underneath them saying, I don't know what to do as they look in the sky.
And this is just getting under, <laughs> out of hand, I should say, honestly. Well, we, since this game here is a little bit out of hand, we are going to switch to another game real quick to see what kind of great action we have going on. Because FTC is just slaughtered on there. Eli and the bros over here with a 1-0 in favor of bros. Now, Eli, Eli's going to have to do some work here because um, we've seen bros while ago come into full force mode. And like I said, this, my friends, is a semi-finals match. The FTC Chili Gang was a quarterfinal. So whoever progresses back this will be in the winner's final. And then, of course, after that, they'll be going to the grand final. So it just really depends on who is doing what exactly. Young Evo trying to get some action going on. Ball flying dangerously towards that goal. Luckily, it was saved by Wavy. Wavy's had some amazing saves earlier that we've seen. Speaking of which, can he knock it in? And Aries will knock it in, and he cannot save that one. I speak too highly, and you see what happens that for my friends. minute pretty much almost off the clock right now quill over here hanging out in the goal trying to get some action going i don't know what he was doing but wabby is able to recounter that with a two to one Ball flying dangerously towards the goal, and oh, nice save there coming out. Ball left hand side. Aries right now not could be a nice save again by Wavy. Wavy doing the dirty work on the reception of the defense, but oh, he couldn't recounter himself with the crossbar. This could be a setup if they're able to get around. There's a nice demo that will help the push stop a little bit. Can Wavy? Nope, Wavy was not able to recounter. Got to be careful though, because I, I've said it a time or two. I know he was trying to hit that e break and turn around on that goal, but being still will bite you more times than none. For that right there, because you cannot whip around quick enough. And Quill, they're starting to run away with this. A 4-1 situation. Like I said, this is, a, this is not going to work in favor of Eli. They've got to figure out how to come back on this. And looking at the Discord, it looks like FTC will be a 2-0 over Chill Gang. So they will be taking takeoff esports in the other semifinal action. And Wabby able to finally get something going there. 2.29 left on the clock. Is it enough? That's the question. Is it enough? Wabby's got to figure out what to do on here. He's carrying the team.
Nice shot coming in, but unfortunately it is redirected. Ball going back in favor of Blue. Oh! Bros right now. Needing to get something going here. If they want to continue this on to like, you know, they have the lead, but you cannot let Eli come back. We've seen Eli come back a time or two in events. Nice stop right there, though. Minute 33 on the clock. Q Bros. Aries doing what he does best. Nice save again by Young this time. Ball is rolling down. Wavy is in position. Can he get down there? Nope, he was able to try to flip around, but it cost him, draining all of his turbo. Nice save there by Ares himself. 48 seconds left on the clock. This looks like this is gonna go all to the bros team. We'll have to see though how it turns out because, I mean, we've seen crazier comebacks. Nice explosion there. And this looks like Eli will go down on this. Oh, I speak too soon. I mean, they've got to get a tremendous kickoff ricochet. Let's see if Eli and company can force an overtime against bros. Here comes the final push. Will it be enough? Oh, he misses it. That whiff could have helped out quite a bit. They both whiffed. Here comes the final push again. Can it be? You got to keep that ball alive, brother. Nice back tuck flip. But that should do it. Oh, I spoke too soon. This ball is literally flying around. We've seen crazy overtime like this. I have a crazy overtime goal where me and my partner were duking out and took it all the way across the map. Come on, oh, the ball finally dies. Bros over here able to secure the dub. And that was a hell of an ending right there. So hats off to both of you guys. Now we got Lamer Gamers versus Team Peanut Butter. Let me see real quick where we're at on the flamer. It's peanut butter and jelly. So this is round five, losers. Yeah, round five on losers. So coming up on the opposite side is FTC versus Takeoff Esports. So as you can tell, Bros advances to the winner's final and whoever takes that on will go to grand finals. So. FTC versus Takeoff Esports. We will actually have them coming up next. And that will be, like I said, the winner of that will go on to our finals as well. Nice shot over there. Davy with the shot over the corner. 3-0 right now. Team PB doing some work. Now here's a question, Twitch Jetsons. You are a fan of Team Peanut Butter. 
What is your all go time jelly to mix with peanut butter? Mine is raspberry. I love me some raspberry. Or if I'm feeling froggy and I want to cook with it, I get some jalapeno jam and jelly, dude. Mix that in some with some asparagus and some garlic. Woo! It is uh, it is the the bee's knees, my friends. <laughs> Demo's going off over here. Minute 22. And like I said, with Team Peanut Butter here, this is a best of three, because like I said, since they're in round five, everybody is now out of that best of one situation, because that helps us, you know, speed things up. So, strawberry, huh? Y'all need to get some, y'all need to advance your taste buds there, my friend. Strawberry, don't get me wrong. If, if, yeah, see, raspberry is the way to go. If I had, if I had to choose between the basic, you know, grape, or strawberry it would be strawberry i love strawberry like strawberry cake is one of my favorite cakes but if it comes to jelly um let's see here yeah like i said raspberry raspberry is definitely a go-to Now here's here's another question since we're speaking of peanut butter and jelly. What type of peanut butter? I myself am a crunchy guy. And I like extra crunchy. Now if I also want to be like healthier, I'll stay away from the jelly and add like some honey, like a little little bit of honey to it. You know, or I'll put some fruit in there like bananas or something. But you can never go wrong with just a good old PBJ, especially with some, you know a lot of peanut butter. I love my peanut butter. Like I can literally go get a spoon and start eating my peanut butter right now if I wanted to. Nutella, huh? So Nutella with peanut butter. Now, if I use Nutella, I usually cook with it actually. So hear me out. This <laughs> my as I hear marshmallow fluff in the background. Oh, nutter butter's a bomb, dude. So when it comes to Nutella, um, if you're at home and you like to cook, try this out. This might sound weird to you, but I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy it. Get a tortilla shell, get some Nutella, spread it around on that. Get yourself some graham crackers and crumble it up into like a fine like little tiny crumbles. Get yourself some chocolate bars and marshmallows and pretty much fold all that up into a burrito and grill it on both sides and you have a s'more burrito. You can also do the same for peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. If you grill a peanut butter and jelly burrito, it is the most amazing thing ever. Especially if you, if you like crunchy stuff, put some crunchies in it. Mm. As you can tell, I'm a country boy fat kid. It, it happens. But Team Peanut Butter looks like they will be taking on Lamer Gamers and going in their full sweaty mode to make the other team a little jelly. Look at that play on words there. Come on now. This, my friends, is like I said, one of the other semi-final matches. Here's the thing too that you guys can try if you haven't. Get a peanut butter sandwich and put some apple butter on it. For instance, this weekend I made uh, an apple, I pretty much smoked a turkey and then I basted it on the outside to help get the bark on there with some apple pecan butter. Learned baby Jesus, it was amazing and I died of a food coma. Now see, see I, what's, fu so what's funny is hearing from my production team, because I don't to the Twitch like they do, uh, as my stuff glitches. So, a lot of the food recipes I come up with, it would sound like it was someone who liked to partake in the Mary of Jane. I myself, I don't smoke it, nor do I have an issue with it. I really don't mind. But yeah, a lot of the off the wall things that I create, uh, they're kind of whack. Like for instance, the other night, uh, I was at the girlfriend's and made a <laughs> caramel uh, Dr. Pepper cookies and cream milkshake. You want to talk about a sugar food coma, my friends? That'll do it to you right there. 
but <laughs> yeah, if you actually go to the Discord on here, you will actually see some food porn I created. I actually created a Snickers slash Keith Bar lasagna for dessert. So what that was is, if you guys know the Keebler Elf like fudge cookies, that's your base. And then on top of that, you put, um, what, how did it start off? Oh, I put whipped cream on top of that, and then I put homemade caramel on it, and then I put chocolate pudding, and then restacked again, pretty much the same. And, oh, I also put the uh, sprinkled on Heath candy bar pieces. Then I restacked it with the cookies, the uh, whipped cream, caramel, pudding, and then I sort of retopped it with that and one more layer of that. Oh, Lord. Yeah. But yeah, definitely with the Nutter Butters. If you do Nutter Butters in there too, it's also good. I love some Nutter Butters. Anything, like, I'm a fat kid, dude. I love my food. Let us know also, like, what, what was some of your favorite, like, uh, turkey time, you know, dinners or desserts that you guys had? Lay it on us. Because uh, I've actually heard people make turkey enchiladas so they'll, they'll smoke their turkey or cook their turkey and then they'll shred it up and stick it in some enchiladas so, i mean that sounds kind of good so it's kind of kind of sleepy time too from eating the mexican and the thanksgiving nice shot there though 44 seconds left on the clock can they recounter they're trying to do what they can here nice demos off the rip coming in also on the side Nice bounce up. Will it be enough? And that's why you do not stand still because Easy was able to come in there and recounter that push. Now, I might start a dessert book from what you guys are saying. I mean, there's a lot of things I like to make, but I just, I, I, I learned to cook when I was a kid and that's all I do. Like for instance, there is actually our s'more brownies that are in there. So if you guys like brownies, Go to the uh, go to the gamer bites thing. So it's pretty much, and it's it's more molten lava brownies. And so what I did is, uh, you undercook the uh, the brownie batter pretty much just to where the middle is gooey on the inside, but it's crusty on that side. And then you put whenever you're battering it down, you put uh, the brownie batter down. You put the graham crackers on top of it, and then you also kind of mix in your marshmallows, and then put your brownie batter on top. And like I said. You cook that at about 30, 30 minutes, around like 350, so where the outside is crust, but the inside is molten lava gooey. And you put that on some ice cream. Yeah, you're gonna go sleep, sleep real good. Peanut butter over here. Speaking of, actually, since you guys are peanut butter fans, try to get some whipped peanut butter sometime. If you can get whipped peanut butter, that goes amazing with any kind of dessert that you want. Like I had a, uh, I had a peanut butter I had a, what was it? It was a peanut butter chocolate pudding something something dessert and it was just like a tiramisu almost in a way and I was just yeah I was like Homer Simpson drooling everywhere. Lamer gamers though currently down 1-0 they do need to get something going because we've seen team, team peanut butter demolish them on a Brazilian earlier with a 7-1 run. Minute 36 though on the clock here. Dried fruit snacks. Actually, hmm, some fruit snacks sounds good too. No, no, no. Nice pushback. Davy over here trying to get some action. We've seen Davy. Actually, I've seen him in the Discord talk a lot. He's a he's an interesting character to talk to, but it's it's nice to see, like I said, how we use our Discord for more than just events. We use it for community. We use it for Among Us times. Uh, we have fun. It just it's, it's it's for the gamers by the gamers. Come on now. Team Peanut Butter, though, sliding in those DMs, knocking into Lamer, Lamer Gamers with a 1-3 to three current lead in favor of PB. Dry Fruit Snack trying to push it in, does get recountered. He couldn't dribble it overhead. Tyler now trying to land over here. Oh, he tried laying on the ball and getting something, but you gotta be careful. If you're underneath the ball like that, as you can tell, it will bite you more times than none. And Tupac, <laughs> Tupac over here knocking in a 1-0 or a 1-4 with a minute left on the clock. So if peanut butter advances from the way it shows, they will be taking on... Uh, who was that? Vibe Gaming. We've seen Vibe Gaming actually do some good work. Then we also seen him kind of... 
kind of get destroyed a little bit. But like I said, if you guys are tuning in, you want to donate, hit that exclamation point and type in a donation and you can pull up and donate anything from a penny all the way up to a million bucks that is in an offshore Jamaican account, blah, 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 blah. Which is actually one of my inside jokes. So whenever our players are like, hey, I won, how do I get my money? I'm like, well, you gotta have an offshore you know, Jamaican international account, but you have to be standing on one foot shouting out, I love France. You know, just, just dumb things. You're like, really, all I have is a PayPal? I'm like, well, that's good. That's all I really need. But the joke, you missed. <laughs> Five to two though, 42 seconds left here. Here's that 30 second timer. Can Lamer Gamers do anything to put any more points on? Cause currently it does not look that way. I say that it's three five right now. They're still trying to get that fight going, but I don't know if that fight's gonna be enough or not. But it looks like Peanut Butter did just seal the dub on that. Peanut Butter will be taking on Vibe. It would have been nice to see a couple of uh, a couple of the college teams that we work with in here. I know one of them did sign up, but I think they were pretty much either in a food coma or passed out from other things that others have mentioned so far. <laughs> I want to go. Let's see here. With this being said, I think we're going to go to the FTC one coming up. And like I said, this is the semi-final action. The winner of this will go on to the finals. So we'll have to see, but currently FTC is currently up 2-0 right now. <clears throat> Cause like I said, I know FTC, I wouldn't say personally, but I know them from operating other events. And so they are a good solid team. Nice wall rip there by Easy. But the Oh, crossbar, but it is able to be pushed in. Two, one. Look at them air dribbles, man. That is some constant great grind. Oh, he went too far. He almost literally carried that across the field, up on the end of his nose. Two nineteen going off the clock here. I'm also listening to production right now <clears throat> in my ears about upcoming matches and stuff, so, so I'm trying to listen and chime in. But right now, too easy over here. Need to do something. He has zero goals, but he's got two shots and assist. 
This might be a shot we spoke of. Nope, he whiffed it, tackling it, smack on the side. Oh, he almost broke his opponent's ankles though. His opponent was waiting for that push and floated it. This could be a shot on goal, and it will be Process and Company at FTC 3 1. One oh five <clears throat> left on the clock right now. FTC in full swing currently. Takeoff Esports is that should be it right now. Four to one currently for him. So with that being said, FTC will take off take off esports with a four to one victory on that. Now we got Poet Esports Purple versus Misplaced Loads. Hopefully, like I said, speaking of which, hope hopefully my load in there is dry because I need to repack in a couple of days. Fire Yoshi over here doing some work with with his pirate hat going on. And here comes the final 13 seconds. <clears throat> Looks like Misplaced will be taking this, especially in that 4-1 situation now. like misplaced over purple esports i think this is game this might be game one but then again it might be game two i'm gonna look at the bracket real quick while we wait for this to transition over let me look here so now we have talk is cheap versus tbh this is round six of the losers I haven't seen anything from Talk is Cheap yet or TBH, but with that being said, it is 1-1 one, one now.
So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go over to peanut butter and vibe check here after a bit. Yeah, exactly. Here we are now. We're gonna go. Nice shot there. So like I said, this is this is gonna be a good series because we seen vibe check earlier doing some dirty work. And like I said, there's some our friends, like I said, in this Twitch chat are wanting to see peanut butter do some dirty themselves. And so far they are, they're doing great. And speaking of which, of peanut butter, has anybody, now my dad have all taught me this, uh, mixing peanut butter and corn syrup, as unhealthy as it is, it tastes amazing. So if you guys haven't tried that, try it sometime. With vibe check though, able to stop it real quick with a two to one situation. And currently team PB is up. So right now, two peck over here, trying to get some work going on. TB is currently up a 2-1. Nice shot coming in, and it will be blocked right there. Two peck with PB coming in. Can he get that corner shot? He does. 3-1. Hearing from uh, hearing from production, we have another donation going in. So currently, we have Sylvia Patterson with a fifty dollar donation, and a and Ryan Landry with that Bill fifty donation. So thanks both of you guys for today's donations. We appreciate it just like I know these kids will. And if you want more, go to campquality.org forward slash Rocket League. And you can donate yourself anywhere from a penny all the way up to a million bucks if you wanted. Also, if you're in the Twitch stream, be sure and do hashtag, or not hashtag, but exclamation point donation to pull up and, you know, submit your entries that way as well. five on the clock right now coming down <clears throat> team pb is doing the work oh that was a nice save that crossbar almost bit him in the backside though luckily it did not so we got to see what's going to happen here can pb hold on we've seen him like I said do some great work earlier and I know we got a giant subject about peanut butter because of them. Oh, that's a nice long distance shot. Can it be saved? Nice save there by Davy. Coming in hot. Can Tupac able to recounter? That's a good shot, but it's not enough. Oh, look at that backstop. I spoke too soon and Tupac is able to recounter. Look at that teamwork. You got that one, two shake and bake punch right there with Davy stopping it literally on a dime for Tupac to come in with the magic trick explosion and they are up five to one. Nice ricochet shot going off the backside. Davy coming in and Trying to push through, this might be a setup. Oh, it will be blocked though. Vibes himself able to push it out. Minute 50 on the clock. Davy rolling around again, being the aggressor, pushing it, pinching it. But I think he pinched it a little too hard. Two pick now, he should be getting back and rotating. Both actually opponents are rotating back. Nice 
Nice shot. Now this here should be a good counter off the side. Should be picking up that hundo, maybe. He is drained. He needs to get it. There's that hundo we spoke of, but this might be... Oh, that was about to be a shot on goal, but Tupac able to recounter it. And Tupac with the assist from the opponent himself. And six to one minute ten left. They just got to get one more shot on there, and they will have their own Brazilian, as we call it. Six to two, <clears throat> vibe check is not going out. This is gonna be a hard hill to climb if they try to climb it. We'll have to see, but currently it's, this is all peanut butter, and if peanut butter, <laughs> as they meet in the middle, can hold on, peanut butter will be advancing, if I'm correct. <laughs> Tupac over here. Do a little fancy work. Nice shot there. That might be a little too late though. 15 seconds is all that's left and you're only up by, or you're down by three. This is gonna be a hard hill to climb, my friends. Here comes the final five seconds left, and Peanut Butter will be taking this against Vibe Check in a 6 3 fashion. So right now we have misplaced loads versus purple esports. This might go into an overtime action. Which hearing on the opposite side, it seems like there's some more overtime action going on on that different one. So we'll see what happens. Mac Daddy over here trying to get some action going himself, pushing it out. No luck. Ball rolling up in the right hand corner. 42 boost up there. It might be enough. No, it will not be. Nice pushback, but oh, that was a good pitch. Can he get underneath it to keep it alive? Oh, he couldn't keep it alive. Currently 20 seconds on this overtime here. Orange could have finished it out, but he was not able to get underneath it and carry it, unfortunately. Delve over here, pushing the ball around, coming in hot. Nice ricochet, oh, but it is the crossbar. That could have went in easily. Another recounter. Can his opponent, nope, he, he was smart. He stopped and pulled back. This might be it though. Misplaced loads and purple esports trying to do some work on both sides. Nice shot, nice aerial. Can this be the hell? Oh, it was almost the hammer in. Oh, he whiffs it. This could be the side now. Nice save there by Crazy Looney 007. 
Nice resave again by Fire Yoshi. Delve trying to get a good pinch. He does get the pinch in the corner. That is dangerously going towards the goal. If he can get a restop. Oh, he just couldn't get around the corner there. Nice demo coming off. Nice stop though. Two minutes on the overtime clock. Fire Yoshi right now. Oh, he's trying to get something going. Ball dangerous on the blue side. <clears throat> Crazy Looney. He only has 10 in the chamber. And that is going to be it. Four to five misplaced loads will take overtime victory. So this is gonna be game two and it looks currently like it is a 4-0 situation where peanut butter is in commanding lead. And if they win this, they will be taking on either demo men which we've seen them do pretty well earlier versus space balls. Davi over here pushing the ball. This is going to be a good setup for him. He's going to re push in the corner. It should roll back and direct itself, and it did. Oh, he tried to get underneath it to push it. Nice save by Dabby. So this is all peanut butter right now. They're in a great lead against Czech. Oh, nice. <laughs> he breaks one axle, explodes the other axle, but unfortunately he's not able to finish it out there. Two pick wasn't. Minute 50 on the clock. Davy. Did a good setup there to save it. Coming around the back right and right side. He's almost drained out of turbo. Picks up the fresh hundo. Two pick now. They're literally playing back and forth passing. Picks, oh, he misses that turbo. He knows he wanted it too. He realized that. He just couldn't clutch and he tried getting so far forward. That crossbar was also not in his favor with the explosion going on the backside there. Minute timer up. This is going to be going towards peanut butter unless something here can happen. And with this being said, bless you to my production that I heard blow my, out my eardrums. <laughs> 20 seconds, seconds off the clock. Peanut butter will be advancing over Vibe Check. Vibe Check, thank you for coming in. You provided some great content and great skills that we all got to see. So peanut butter will be awaiting between space balls and demo man. Then up top is Chili Gang and misplaced loads, and they'll be taking on TBH. This, my friends, is the finals going on. I'm going to see who won the last game. So, like I said, I'm going to... 
I'm gonna ask who on my who on production who won the game one there since it went to overtime. Do we know? But right now it is 0 and 4 certainly for FTC. So once we find out, this might be a do or die for FTC for them to go down the losers bracket. If not, I mean this could be a good game series to where it's tied up now. process able to finally stop it with a one to four but is a minute 20 really enough on the clock to help out with any extra time will tell we'll see Nice stop there by Yu-Gi-Oh. Yugo was able to stop it. Ball coming back to Wavi. Oh, that's a nice long bomb shot. No need to counter after it. And that is going in. That is a 1-5. And this looks like game two will be going to Eli. Fifty-eight seconds left currently. Who's gonna want this more? Nice air dribbles, and Drez is showing you why not to count him out. It might be a little late for this one, but look at the air acrobatic plays, bouncing it around upside down, flipping it in over two opponents. And three to five, they are not out yet. They are trying to climb back out of this. They literally have to score two more goals within 13 seconds of each. So if Eli wins this, Eli will be going on to the grand finals because FTC lost game one in overtime. Oh, that was a nice save right there. Time is ticking. FTC needs something to happen here. Time does not get on your side again. Nice flick. Nice recounter flick. <laughs> so this is gonna have to have a kickoff from hell, my friends. They need, and they pretty much need an onside kick here to do anything. If not, this has been a hell of a series between both players. Here comes the final time. Will it be enough? He's got to get underneath it. Oh, he couldn't stand underneath it. So Eli will be advancing over FTC into the grand final, which means FTC will be waiting in the losers final match. Hats off to both of them. And now we got misplaced loads versus the Chilla Chilla gang. And whoever takes this on will be taking on TBH. Three to one right now. <clears throat> Chili is taking over. I'm not sure who won game one on this. I think Chili might have won game one. We'll have to find out here soon. 
Mag Daddy bouncing around. Nice air dribble coming in. Cannot finish with the clutch going down, though. Nice off the counter wall. Gasly with it. Get the rollover shot in there to a 4 1 current lead for Chili Gang. We hope all of our Twitch followers and, and those that are viewing it have enjoyed the stream today so far that we've had. We've had everything from great games, to talking about epic food creations, to Thanksgiving dinners, what we all had, all that good stuff. But the most important thing is we appreciate those that are tuning in and playing because, like I said, if it wasn't for y'all, we couldn't be helping those sick kiddos you know, at Camp Quality get any kind of things for their cancer stuff that's going on with their lives. So we appreciate each and every one of you guys that are tuning in. And if you actually like to want to donate, you can go to... Uh, campquality.org forward slash rocket league or you can also be in the stream and an exclamation point donation to be able to like I said give back to the community so far we've had two great donations come in pretty much ranging 200 bucks on that and i'm sure we'll have a lot more that are going to come in outside of the streams and stuff too with that being said though Misplaced Loads is trying to climb back in this with a 4-3. They were just down to a 4-1 a while ago. Three oh one, ball bouncing. <laughs> just watching like some of these guys just wall ride it out and have some fun. It's just it's just interesting to see. A <laughs> nice demo off the rip on the backside. Nice stop there too. This might go into an overtime, my friends. I thought it was going to be a blowout there by Chili Gang, but Misplaced Loads is doing what they can to climb back. Recounter after recounter, and we are finally tied up from a 4 0 situation. It looks like Mac Daddy Avenue. He is a, if he's either he's trolling or he's not, but that is a silver emblem. For a silver guy, he's doing pretty hot. Well, what's about to roll? 50 on the clock here, coming in. Is now redirected back towards midcourt. Oh, they both whiffed. Ball did go through. Oh, nice save off the backside of Mac Daddy Avenue. Nice save on the backside. Minute 20 on the clock. Ball rolling around the left-hand side now. Orange has got to pretty much get it out of their corner. Finally able to push it through. It is on blue side, and that is going to go in. Mac Daddy with a... 5-0 run currently on Chili Gang.
ball dropping down the left-hand side. Minute warning right now. Chili Gang has to do something if they want to continue what they were you know, pushing out. They've been striving and thriving so hard. Finally, with it being tied up like we just spoke of, 54 seconds. Who wants this more? This is a literally 10-point game on both sides. Nice shot downfield. Thirty-second timer going off now. Chili gang trying to get something going here. Ghastly able to push it forward through. It is kind of slightly redirected. Nice chip off the side. It is too high. And here comes Kevin's famous chili. <laughs> I just seen his gamer tag. That is awesome. Looks like we will be going into another overtime match unless a miracle clutch pinch something happens like that. But it is not enough to be countered back. It is still off the ground. And now we're going into overtime. Here comes the kickoff. Ooh, nice save off the side. Able to push it back. Can this come down? This He's got to get a good stop. He does. Ball is now redirected. That is going in a very angry side right there. You got to be careful. As soon as we're done with this, and that is going to be it. Kevin's famous chili. I wonder if it's a five-star chili. That's what I want to know. Because five-star is the only star's chili you want to get. You got to get that spicy spot, friends. So that is actually going to be game one, if I'm correct. So with that being said, now we've got peanut butter versus space balls. And our boys at peanut butter, they need all the jelly they can have because uh, they're a little bit down right now. Mr. No Bull over there in Long Street is, you know, what's funny is I, I, uh, I kind of, I still make fun of people who put that. I mean, it's, I know it's self advertisement, but uh, so Mr. Evan in here, Jedimine, he used to have TTV in his name, and I kind of roasted him a little bit. I was like, why do you have that in there? So he kind of changed it afterwards. But I mean, if you need to advertise, it, it is a smart way to do it. Does it suck because everybody has it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's just like back in the day, gamer tags would have like MLG in it or X, uh, you know, X, whatever, high X, low X, or LVL, just whatever, because they want to be cool and be with the click of things. Nah, just be yourself. I've had my gamer tag since I was like seven. I'm an old man now, 35. It happens. Ball is currently <clears throat> in left hand side, flying up. It is redirected back down the corner. This might be a possible shot for Tupac and them if they can get it. Oh, he could not save it on that backside. <laughs> Davy getting the explosion back there. Just Tupac left up. Tupperware shaker, as I like to call him. Nice rip out. Ooh, he was able to, he almost knocked it in his own goal. So it looks like Team Peanut Butter is going to lose game one here.
Ball flying in. 27 seconds. This might be the shot that, uh, oh, Demo's out left and right. Well, Peanut Butter is going to need game two help here, my friends, because they went down five to two in this best of three series in game one. So with that being said, let's see exactly where we're at. We are back at this with misplaced loads and Chile gang. We've seen old Kevin's famous chili take it for game one right there. Yeah, we need a right to, I mean, Kevin, if you and your family's rest is in here, we need to know what you put in your chili. Because if it's something good, let me know. Especially if it's got some spice in it, I really need to know. What, uh, let's see here, actually. I'm gonna see if I have his Discord. Cause I'm gonna ask him what his, what his chili recipe is. <laughs> I'm laughing at his, his battle five picture because it shows Kevin from the office and the chili is spill over. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, turn him a chat. I gotta add this guy. Like, yo, you can show the recipe, bro. All right, three to two right now. This is about to be a 3-3, actually. Mac Daddy coming in hot, saying, all right, I'm not going out this easy. You might have won game one, but you're going to try to earn game two here, brother. As we let this one count down, we will switch to peanut butter afterwards. But right now, this is a good series. We're gonna see who can knock this out. Here comes two minutes right now. Still tied up though, 3-3. Chili Gang trying to do something right now. Gasly's coming in hot himself. Ricocheted off, this could be a re-counter pinch. Oh, he missed the pinch though. Vastly able to get something going here, especially after being tied up for quite some while. So right now, <clears throat> Mac Daddy is able to tie it up again. Like I said, both these guys are just going ham on each other right now. As I have my kitty, I'm surprised my cat's not been rubbing against the mic. So if you guys hear a weird noise rubbing against the mic, I apologize. So right now with the peanut butter game update, it is tied currently 1-1 with 2.48 left. Did I just tell you not to rub on the mic? You feel a weirdo. I was gone up in uh, out of state and my cats decided to yell at me when I came back, my friend. So that's why they have been at my butt. So I apologize for any weird noises you might be hearing. 
Minute left though, 4-4 Chili Gang versus Misplaced Loads. Can Chili Gang clutch this up and send Misplaced Loads out of the bracket or can they tie it up and force a game three? Either way, we'll be getting some peanut butter action here pretty soon. So if you guys ain't ready yet, you better get your peanut butter uh, sandwiches ready and start slapping them together and put them in the uh, Discord chat and Gamer Bite so we can see them. But <laughs> misplaced loads, finally able to take the lead with 30 seconds left. Twenty seconds. Can Kevin and company at the office be able to literally take this game away from him and force an overtime, or are we gonna have a game three? Final five seconds is about to tell us what's about to happen. He cannot stop, and that is gonna be the nail in the coffin. We are coming to Peanut Butter Town right now. Six four misplaced loads. Game three coming up next after this. But like I said, Mr. Production Crew, let's get some peanut butter action switching over. 2-2 two, two versus Spaceballs. Nice shot, nice save down there, and it will bounce in. Spaceballs, three to two. Spaceballs is a minute 10 away from advancing. Here comes that minute timer to tell us what's about to go away you don't want to see. See, this is like Dragon Ball Z. You better give uh, Mr. Peanut Butter and them like all the all the help you can get right now because they're taking on Frieza and it's not pretty. Thirty seconds remaining on this final clicker. And that might be it for peanut butter, my friends. It might be game over with that nail in the coffin chip in shot. As the black hole absorbs everyone's soul. So peanut butter themselves, they are actually from the Toronto area as well. So hats off to some locals out there like representing while Spaceballs is from Maryland themselves. So Spaceballs will be taking on Take Off Esports and Chili Gang in Misplaced Loads is in their final game series. We're going to be switching over to that, see what kind of action we get going on here. 1-0 with Chili Gang and Kevin's Famous Chili. Nice bounce over, over two opponents, picking up the fresh turbo. Oh, he tried getting a little whiff on the side and bouncing it and missed it. He, did, he jukes one opponent, can't get the second one though. His teammate might be able to recounter, no he does not. Kevin needs to get back. Oh, look at that save. Oh my God, somebody clipped the crap out of that. Wow. 
If you just missed out that, look at this replay. Look at the double, triple save, able to come in, but they were not able to save that last time. Somebody put that on a highlight reel. That was a very angry ball back and forth situation, my friends. So if you're in the chat, who do you think is going to take it more? Do you think Chili Gang is going to be able to uh, help old Kevin with his famous chili, or is he going to fall to the floor and spill it everywhere again? Speaking of chili contests, when I used to work for the city of Oklahoma City, they did a cookie, or a cookie, a chili cook-off, and one of the ladies accidentally turned too tight in her crock pot spilled over her seat all down in her floor mat. So let's just say it was a fun time uh, helping her clean that up. I myself am voting for Kevin's famous chili because I asked him for the recipe, so he's got to give it to me if he wants to uh, take the money if he gets that far. Nice demo off the side. Oh, nice counter save back there. This is going to go into another overtime by the way it looks. Oh, and Gasly able to get a 2-1 with a minute 04 left. Like I said, if you are tuning in, this tournament is brought to you by CI Investments and CI Global Asset Management. CI Global Asset Management is one of Canada's largest investment fund companies. About 1.3 million Canadians trust us to help realize their financial goals. CI is a proud partner with financial advisors across Canada who offer funds to their clients. We believe investors are most successful when they follow a sound. So hats off to you and also hats off to Camp Quality for rocking this event with us. We appreciate you guys, like I said, even tuning in and wanting to, you know, wanting to partner up with us. You know, especially during these COVID times, it gets hard, it gets scary to, you know, try to get back to what you do. So of course, try something new, eSports, and well, here we are. This might be the, oh, I must say, it might be the seal in the coffin if they can knock it in. Kevin and them got to play it smart. They are up 20 seconds left. But we've seen crazier things happen in time. Like right now, he's coming in. Oh, and just like that, it is tied now. Can Kevin and company knock this ball in? Gasly trying to get a good set. Will it go in? Oh, come on, Kevin. Yeah! <laughs> Chili put it inside. Woo! Nice setup by nice setup by Gasly. Nice almost save there. But Kevin and company will go on another day to try and win this. What? It's not over yet. We've seen crazier things on kickoff, and that is gonna be it. Chili Gang, misplaced loads. Thank you guys for an amazing game right there. Now we got Takeoff Esports versus Spaceballs. And then after that, we have Chili Gang versus TBH and, and uh, Miss TBH herself over there uh, was just like, hey, stop hyping them up. We gotta play next. <laughs> So thank you for tuning in and having fun. We appreciate it. Both these teams coming in are from the C Canadian region, from Ontario and British Columbia, Canada, with Takeoff Esports and Spaceball. Let's see where they're from. California and Maryland.
Nice pinch. Look at that ball fly in there. And Easy will take the first shot over there. So right now where we're at, we are in losers round eight actually, which so this is the quarter final action in the losers bracket, then go semi and then losers and then grand finale. Three minutes on the clock. This should be a chip in shot right now. If he can recounter any will, space balls over takeoff esports is currently in the lead. Rex and whoever wins this will advance to the semi final action. No bull right now. Trying to get some action going. <clears throat> Gonna pick up this hundo. He was a little bit boost starved. Nice air dribble, bouncing off again. And it will be set. Easy right now, trying to get some action going. Take off esports and space balls. Corner shot, no direction in. Recounter back over. Can it be stopped? Oh, look at that push through. Almost a great save. Easy with the shot. His partner with the assist off the rebound. Three to two, minute 25 on the clock. Logs and trees versus no bull. Trying to get some action going. They've got to get something. They got to get up if they want to get this. And now it is a 4-2 with an explosion at the end. Takeoff Esports is a minute 01 from taking this game right now against Spaceballs. And if Takeoff Esports can win over this best of three series, like I said, they will be put in the round nine semifinal losers action. Can he get a save? Nope. Locktree is able to come in there, get some action going. That ball was in a, a dangerous bouncing up and down situation. Oh, 
Oh, nice redirection on the backside. Final 20 seconds left. Can't Spaceballs tie this up as demos are going left and right, back and forth. That's a nail in the coffin. 16 seconds up. And take off. Esports will be taking likes of this game. I'm not sure if it's game one or two. I'm pretty sure it's game one, but take off will at least have one game up advantage on this situation. So with that being said, we are over here with Chili Gang and TBH. TBH was telling us not to hype up Kevin and his chili because uh, it might not be a good situation. Well, we can see right now it is currently not a good situation. Finally, TBH able to put a little bit extra there themselves. But 6-2 looks like Chili Gang if they can hold this lead up to the 45 second mark, they will advance over TBH in this game one. TBH is trying to climb back. They are not out, but they're not close at the same time either. This is They're going to have to play this tactically smart to get any kind of action going in the way they want to. Oh, Paul's in a dangerous spot again. Can they get it out of there? No, they cannot. Kevin's famous chili is just going to town over there inside, just bouncing around. We've seen a lot of balls literally just... <laughs> Look at that, it just took forever to explode. Thirty seconds left. Like I said, this is all she's gonna be writing for game one over here. <clears throat> Chili Gang will take it to TBH in an eight to three fashion, and whoever wins it, this looks like it is gonna be Chili Gang. Currently, if it stays that way, they will be taking on the Gollywood Boys or Bros. What do you wanna call them? So 320 currently on the clock, trying to get something going here because <clears throat> Spaceballs, if I'm correct, uh, wasn't it Spaceballs that won game one? I'm trying to remember here. So if Spaceballs can hold on it, when it will it be editing out of it? But time will tell, we'll see.
baseballs. Oh, 226 left. Like I said, they're they're doing pretty solid over here. We've seen a lot of these teams, especially like I said, easy, just wipe the floor people. But right now, Spaceballs is doing some dirty work themselves. Locks and trees, though. He's a... I mean, he's got three shots on goals. Finally, some points on the board there for Takeoff Esports. One to two currently with 211 left. Nice air dribbles. Nothing to counter with it though. Easy able to smack it back up on the upside. Oh, corner shot. Ricochet out. Trying to tie it up. Double save. Can he get that triple? He finally gets it out of the zone. Spaceballs now. In command to push it back and forward. Getting meet up by Easy. Now being pushed back out the side again. And that is a 2-2 two, two tie. Fifty seconds left on the clock here. Take off esports, trying to power it in. They do three two with forty eight seconds left now. Spaceballs, this might go to a game three. And like I said, currently two. Let me back this up. Chili Gang and TBH are duking it out with Chili Gang taking game one earlier. Chili is currently up three one from what I'm hearing in my earpiece here. Comes the final seconds. Can Spaceballs knock this out of the park and fight it? Ooh, it's going downtown. But, and now it is tied up one to one. Actually, I'll correct you. Yeah, Takeoff Esports did knock out Spaceballs on that. Forgot that I had that checked up earlier. <clears throat> so Space or Takeoff Esports is literally in the semifinals awaiting. So Chili Gang and TBH going each other. 
If Chili Gang beats this, they've got to take on Queely Woo Bros, and then whoever wins that will take on Take Off Esports. My daughter right now, if you hear any weird banging around, my friend, she's in the kitchen prepping dinner noms for her daddy. You, you, you need to refresh your bracket there, Mr. Swim Swim. <laughs> your move creep scored, that's awesome. TBH trying to climb back, 55 seconds. They they can do it if they play it smart, but with Chili Gang and Kevin's famous chicken, I mean, chicken, <laughs> famous chili. He's, uh, he's doing some work here. Oh, get out of there. Nice save there by your move creep. Shot going downfield. This could be a long bomber. It is redirected as a long bomber almost, but can this go back in again? Kevin's famous chili just trying to hold on as best as they can. Nice redirect back downtown again. A little high, bouncing in front of the goal. This is, oh, they both miff. They both whiff. This should be it. Then this is going to knock it out. And Chili Gang will hold on and will go forward. Alrighty, friends. So looking right now at the losers bracket coming up, we're gonna have Chili Gang versus Quilly Wolves Bros, and we've seen both these teams be pretty solid. So it's gonna be interesting. This is the quarterfinal losers matchup coming up. The winner of this will take on Takeoff Esports in semifinals, and then the winner of that will take on FTC, which we've seen them lose in the losers final in a great game. <laughs> And then, of course, we have the team that I can't say, which is Team Ellie, or Eli, up in Grand Finals. So, we're going to see where that's at. But before we get there, we are going to roll another Camp Quality commercial. We are going to do the uh, the Man Manitibo, which is Manitoba. Sorry, my redneck cannot pronounce that very well. <laughs> before we get to that, though, I like to say that Camp Quality is a national charitable organization that provides summer camps and programs for children affected by cancer, free of charge. Here's a look at Camp Quality's Manitoba location and some insight into the camp means for kids affected by cancer. It, and if anyone is playing in today's tournament can support it, be sure and head on over to campquality.org forward slash Rocket League, and we'll be right back after this commercial, my friends. The community here is overall amazing. There's so many nice people, you need help doing something. There's 10, 15 people already rushing over to try to help you. It's almost like a family at this point. Like, I know everyone, everyone knows me. And it's like, even just getting to see everyone for one week is like really nice. I go home and I'm in a better mood. I see things through a more positive lens. Being able to be there for someone uh, and to have that much of an impact of their summer and have them wanting to come back for another year is just something that you can't, you know, you can't pay for. Like those connections that you get to make with these kids here and the fact that they come back year after year is just really a meaningful experience for everyone involved.
everybody, welcome back to the Losers Bracket. So, before we went into commercial, hearing from my uh, production team, some people on the Twitch stream asked if I like to go fishing. Uh, I love to go fishing. I don't eat fish because I got sick when I was little, but I will go out and bass, you know, catching bass. I've caught walleye, um, channel cat, a little bit of everything. The biggest fish I've ever caught off rod and reel with a 12 pound blue cat. And a lot of people are like, you know, that's, that's not bad. I mean, it's not a bad size. My old man, he used to catch like those 20, 25 pounds. Those things are massive on rod and reel. But of course, out here in Oklahoma, you know, people go noodling all the time and there's been catfish drag out 40, 50 pounds by your bare hands. That is fun, but scary at the same time. So if you don't know what noodling is, you pretty much go into a low body of water, usually rivers, um, you go with your friends, you find a hole, you stick your body down in there, and your friends will hold you by your feet. And when you kick, they pull. Your objective is to stick your hand down inside of what you hope is a catfish, buy the gills, and bring it out. You have a nice, nice, okay, awesome, pe team peanut butter. Heck yeah, dude, fishing's the best. But you have a one in four chance of getting a catfish out. You're either gonna get a catfish, or you're gonna get a beaver, a snake, or a turtle. So you pick your poison on what do you wanna feel like pulling out. Uh, but speaking of which, what is your favorite fish to catch, my friend? Like, what do you like to get? As catfish, and heck yeah. Oh, bass fishing. Bass fishing's fun too. Like my best bud, he, he loves bass fishing. Like me, I'm the type where I'll bait my hook, throw it out there eat some pizza, drink some whiskey, and just kick it and relax. I know bass fishers are always on the go, you know, throwing out real in. Me, let me just let it sink for a bit and just chill. Nice shot again by Quill over here. Camden's famous chili might have met its maker over here. Two fifty six right now on the clock. Chili gang needs to figure out what to do. They're down by a little bit. That is a nice shot. But we've seen Queely Bros over here do some work earlier on the tournaments. They have been fan freaking tastic. Nice wall direct off the rip. I smell food in there. Yay. Gasly over here trying to get some work going. Sees his opponent. That's why he's kind of like eyeballing it. Nice shot because a lot of people would have tried making it go more left. But if you were watching how he was paying attention, he was trying to see where his opponent was coming from to get the right angle. Because if he would have pushed it right there too far left, he could have ricocheted it, hit the crossbar, and flown out. So nice job there, Gasly. Can Kevin's Famous Chicken handle it up? Or will Dwight's Beat Factory Salad just take over everything? Oh, nice save there. As much as I wanted that to go in, that was a beautiful rollover save. Gasly trying to do some work like last time. Bouncing it over left and right. Couldn't counter it, but can Chili come in? No, Kevin's famous Chili could not clutch up. Minute 15 left. You gotta be careful, he's got a full tank of boost and it's getting drained down quick. Nice pitch, here comes the minute timer. Can they get one more goal in there? And they, oh, I thought they were about to. Nice save. But that might be it for Chili Gang for game one.
50 seconds right now off the clock. Kevin's famous chili coming in strong, knocking the ball around on the outskirts. Quill though, just doing what they can. Ball is in a good position, but you are down by three goals. You cannot let any more time come off the clock. Gassy's gonna try to bounce this over his opponent, and he does, but he's, oh, he recountered himself too hard. Come on, Kevin's chili, no, Kevin's chili couldn't knock it in. And this is going to be it for game one. Cooley Bros versus Chili Gang. Five to two fashion. The question is, can Chili Gang be able to re-counter back up? So this is going to be a good series. And this is what you want to see when it gets down to your finals. You want to see pretty much <clears throat> the higher caliber teams literally duke it back and forth because rocket league there's so many fundamentals behind it it's it's different than like a call of duty you know run and gun shoot or like a battle rail where you're just kill racing etc this here requires communication hands-on coordination getting the turbos getting the right angles there's a lot of math behind it and a lot of people just don't understand that it's crazy i know while we wait i'm gonna actually oh we are loading back in okay cool i was gonna say i was gonna roll another commercial but we'll save these last two for the last two rodeos coming up Nice chip over shot right now. Quilly Bros trying to get some work going on. Ball flying back in. Oh, Kevin's famous chili scored. And that is going to be a one up lead currently. I always enjoy that summer splash as it comes in. I remember that thing first came out. I hated that map. Playing on the, the, the beach volleyball map. Ugh. Nice counter back flip. Wasn't enough to pinch in there. So I'm going to have my production crew. Actually, let's see here. It's not showing scores for some reason on there, Mr. Production Crew. I'm pretty sure he just pushed a button and it just took off the x ray vision of the score part. So I'll have him come back on there. There we go. Thanks, production team. You're the favorites. And see, here's another great thing too about why we love working with esports so much is like I said, we give back to the community. It doesn't matter how busy we are, this or that. For instance, my production team over here has COVID themselves and they are rocking just as strong because we want to help give back to what we care. Now, does that mean I'm going to go up there and give them a kiss and hug later? And no, but <laughs> Chance, I feel sorry for you since you're close to them. Normally me, I you know I joke around and you know I always mess with my friends anyways to have fun. But uh, you got that you got that ooty booty sickness, and I don't want none of that stuff. I had that back in the day. Nope, I got mine when I came back from DreamHack. But Aries though with a two-one Cully Bros lead. Can Kevin's Chili come out on top? Or will Dumberless paper and paper just soak all that chili up and say, see you later. Ghastly trying to get some kind of work going there.
as I hit my hand on my desk. Yeet. Kevin and them know if they can make it past this, they can at least get almost a possible fourth place ending victory because if not if they lose out here they will take home fifth place but it is a three to one lead currently Kevin right now trying to get some action going and it is all bros all the time. 218, 401 left. This is a, uh, looks like, like Mr. Chili Gang is gonna have to sit back and relax because <clears throat> enjoy the show. Oh, thanks my friend. So looking over here in the uh, chat, one of the players was like, GG all is good luck. So that's what I'm saying, we, we enjoy giving back to our players compared to where most would just literally sit there and, you know, like, all right, well, here's the tournament. It runs by itself. Enjoy, let us know who wins. We'll give you money later type thing. You know, we ain't got time for that. Nice shot right there by Kevin's Famous Chili. It is redirected back down. Minute 40 on the clock. Will it be enough to slam down? And Aries will take another shot. This is about to be a Brazilian on the backside. Minute 17 left on the clock here. And there is that Brazilian. Quio Bros is taking it. Chili Gang. Chili Gang, we appreciate you guys coming out having fun. Kevin, you better send me that darn chili recipe because I need to <clears throat> make it some time. Finally, cast be able to put something on there for two Brazilian is a race, but I don't believe that will be enough, unfortunately. With a minute 06 on the clock. Oh, it is eight to two. They just can't let this game end at all. They're like, no, we're gonna keep going. Like I said, if you guys still are tuning in and you'd like to, like I said, donate something, hit that exclamation point on the uh, stream there and type in donate. It'll pull up everything and you can donate what you can, or you can go to campquality.org forward slash rocket league. And like I said, check out even more amazing things they have to offer. Plus, like I said, help out tossing some change to some kiddos and whatnot.
All righty. So with that being said, let's pull this bad boy up. This is going to be the semifinals match, which is going to be Quilly Boys Bros, or Quilly Woos Bros, versus Take Off Esports. So now you got Connecticut versus California. Yay. While we wait for them, I'm going to do the camp at home video. And like I said, with a disclaimer, Camp Quality is a national charitable organization that provides summer camps and programs for children affected by cancer free of charge. This year, they weren't able to pretty much run in-person camps due to COVID-19 since kids with cancer experience isolation many before or may or way before social distancing was a part in place. It's so important for them to have a community that is connected during this time. So take a look at this camp quality program at home and let us know what you guys think. Stay tuned. Hey guys, we are so excited to be doing virtual camp. All righty, my friends. Like I said, this is the semi-final action between Takeoff Esports and the demos rolling out versus Quilly Woo Bros. Currently 2-1 in favor of Easy Company over here on the orange side. 
I was in the kitchen helping my daughter with some din din. So that's why I was uh, a little away from the uh, commercial break there. Paul is rolling back and forth, trying to get some good stuff going. Quill himself able to get something going there. Aries coming around the corner, but they've got to get it pushed away. Nice pinch, but nice redirect by Easy. It is not enough though. It will roll off from the side there. Three oh six currently on the clock. This, this is gonna be some good action right here. Like especially seeing everybody that's going on. I'm actually gonna look on our battle fight in case you guys want even more Rocket League action. I'm gonna tell you when the next one is going to be. So, coming up tomorrow is Call of Duty, but looking at the thing, the next Rocket League action is gonna be December 20th at 1 p.m. So don't miss your chance. If you want information, battlefy.com forward slash click gaming or click gaming.gg. And like I said, the most important part is you join that Discord and you can be entered in more tournaments than what we host ourselves because of how branched out we are. Like for instance, next weekend is $1,800 in Rocket League prizes and Hustle Hyper X gear on top of it. And that is at GameGym.com. But those qualifiers are done. This is going to be the Winter Championship coming up that we will be doing. Nice shots, nice saves there. But yeah, speaking of which, like I said, tomorrow's Call of Duty, then Mortal Kombat, League of Legends, Call of Duty, Apex, Rocket League, Overwatch, and another Call of Duty on January 2nd. We'll actually go and toss some mixes in there with some Brawlhalla's and stuff. I'm gonna look to see what date we might have. I might toss a Brawlhalla in there. Maybe on the 12th, I think. We'll have to cross that threshold and look later on. Nice shot to take off. Esports is currently up in a four to two situation. So they should take game one here if it keeps going the same direction. Minute 30 on the clock. Nice shots going over. Oh, it was able to get redirected back. And that should be the extra nail in the coffin there. 104, five to two lead currently for takeoff esports. With easy coming with that easy chip shot on the side. Alex, so we just got to see what is going to go on here. 50 seconds on the clock. Will it be enough? Hi, kitties. My daughter just brought me food. So the kitty cats are being fat and trying to beg right now. So we are going on hour four, literally in five minutes, and we're almost done with this bad boy. Whoever ends up beating this, if Takeoff Esports can continue the thrive, and it looks that way, 
We'll be getting into some losers action, and then after that, we will be getting into our grand finals best of five. And we've seen these guys go the distance on the uh, winner's final before. As easy takes another easy chip rolling shot. Nice shake and bake pass, roll in, and Gucci right there. And that is gonna be it for takeoff sports. They will be Korea Bros. Seven to two. So with, with with that being said, FTC is awaiting for all this stuff to go down. And like I said, that's going to be in the losers' finals. And after that, whoever like said wins that is going to take on Eli up north. And that is going to be a best three out of five. And we already seen FTC and Eli take each other on. And that was literally a game that went to the wire and they lost by like one point each time. And so I can't wait to see the rematch to see if there's going to be a bracket buster. Because if there is, we all know it's going to be a long day. So you might want to get some food, get some snacks, because it is going to be rolling deep. As we wait, though, we are going to be loading into that match. And I'm going to eat some food while I wait with Easy taking the easy first points off kickoff. I am back for eating some dinner. 
221 over here. Ooh, easy with another good score. So this one here is not as bad as the first game. The first game was kind of a blowout. This one here is taking a sweet time, it seems like. I'm gonna update this to where easy took game one. Nice kickoff, ball redirected, left-hand side, coming towards the goal. It is tapped out. Oh, there's explosion in the background. And no need, no worries about your partner being down. Three to one currently. Quill and company with two minutes on the clock right now. Explosions going left and right. Ball flying towards the goal. And finally they're able to put a little stop on the bleeding there with a two to three. right now <clears throat> minute 40 on the clock here coming in strong Aries trying to get something going with his partner he has two goals six shot on goals and one save on the opposite here you can see that there is two goals on easy side with three shots so they are both put in some work with two saves on the side so they're not being scared of taking shots they're doing what they can here nice pinch nice back and forth Oh, that's gonna hit the wall and come straight down in front of that goal. There it is, oh! He was ready for the bounce up and instead it rocketed back from the, from the uh, backside touch. Oh, he's trying to set up with his partner but he could not finish strong. And that is going to be the seal marker, if I'm correct. Don't get me wrong. Bros can still come back, <clears throat> but they're going to have a heck of a climb to try to get up. But I'll tell you this. Whoever takes a seat here, Eli is going to even have more of a struggle because those teams are some powerhouses. Thirty seconds left. Can Quill and Bros counter this up and tie this series? I'm about to find out. He's trying to come in with his little aerial fancy, but he is met in air. Nice pass over. Nice pass redirect over. And that, my friends, is going to do it. So we will have FTC versus. Easy again over here at Takeoff Esports. Great job, great games for each player. So here's my thing is, so now we are in our final three. Takeoff Esports is going to have their hands full with FTC. FTC, like I said, is a powerhouse. I've watched them in a couple of my other tournaments on Game Gym side. They're, they're the, going to be the company that you're going to have to watch out for, especially when they lost to Eli by like, I think it was one point each game. And so... I can't wait to see what happens. While we get them in lobbies, I'm going to roll one more commercial. I'm also going to get food after that commercial because <laughs> I'm so hungry. But this is going to be the Alberta one. Like I said, Camp Quality is a national charitable organization that provides summer camps and programs for children affected by cancer free of charge. Having a child with cancer can be a huge financial burden on a family. So they offer pretty much family camps weekends free of charge of course and here's a look at what they have to set up at their family camp stay tuned and thanks you did it Yay. camp quality is a camp for children with 
cancer as well as their families, siblings. We run programs during the summer as well as throughout the year. Uh, right now you're looking at family camp, so we have families from all over Alberta and BC. It's a really great opportunity to give these kids and the families an opportunity to get away from some of the things that they're facing. It's amazing to see these kids that have never met each other before just all of a sudden like, build these amazing friendships. It's allowed them to grow, it's allowed them to be part of a community where it's okay to have missing limbs, it's okay to have bald hair, it's, it's you're not separated out. My son, he has an artificial eye and it's okay. My son, he wears hearing aids, that's okay. That was awesome. There's no expense to the families, all of our funds are, are covered by fundraising, our, our staff are volunteers from the community. This is Camp Quality. Alrighty, sorry, I had to give you a cup of fatty and eat the rest of my dinner right there. So, this is the top three, which means money, money, money. So, third place will get 25 bucks, second place will get 50 bucks, and first place, let's see, will get 175. Sorry, I had to swallow a piece of chicken that had my tooth. So, <clears throat> And that's pretty much broke down. So each player is uh, the team gets that much. So the players have to split that down the middle. So of course, you know, uh, thirteen or, or twelve fifty, and then you're gonna have a kitty, you know, twenty five, and then of course you're gonna split the uh, eighty seven fifty for the finals there. So that being said, currently looks like FTC is in strong command for at least that possible second place. Now they do have another game here on top of this. And like I said, whoever makes this will go into a best of five series. Now that I ate my dinner, I'm gonna get some peanut butter trail mix because I am a fat kid and I like my sweets. 
you know, since you know, since PB was in our event, I gotta rock out that PB stuff because that's the yeah, that's the best way to do it. Nice save. There's that minute warning in Surf Car. I said FTC is putting in some work right now. And like I said, <clears throat> with that being in the third goal with a zero spread, Takeoff Esports is going to have to. Uh, figure out how they're going to come back on game two here of this loser's finale. And now it is a 4-0 lead. Actually, I like his little aerial dribbles. Orange did try to have a counter there, but it just wasn't enough, unfortunately. Final push. This might, oh, I said they might be able to counter in there just to get some points off the goose egg. But Drez and company at FTC doing the work, knocking it out of the park. 4 0 goose egg run to start game one of this series. So if you're in the chat right now, let us know what you think of what the outcome will be. Do you feel that Takeoff Esports can recounter and force a game three? Or do you think FTC will run it in fashion and await for Eli and company coming up next after that? Actually, let us know. Let us know. And like I said, if you do want even more Rocket League action or other tournaments, head on over to battlefy.com forward slash click gaming or head on over to clickgaming.gg. You will find the stuff that Click Gaming operates, but if you go to like the Discord, you will find many, many more. All right, now I'm done being a, an extra fat kid with my troll mix. <laughs> Anyways, so from the Twitch chat, from here in production, it sounds like we might see a reverse sweep, which I've seen plenty of times from these AM events all the way up to the big boy events that we've worked. Whenever I was in um, Las Vegas for Gears of War 4, uh, pretty much that's whenever Ghost came back and swept it. And, and man, that took forever. So normally a game that would take you know, an hour for a best of a uh, best of seven series. Let me rephrase that: best of seven. This came back, and it was a best of pretty much eleven across the board. That took forever. It took two and a half hours. So we were there. We were supposed to end at six. We didn't end literally until about nine, and then had to break the truck down and get it all loaded up by eleven o'clock to get them out by midnight. So yeah. Bracket Busters can be fun, but Bracket Busters can also be a pain in the backside. But with Dresden Company taking them with a 3-3-3 time zone and a 1-0 lead over Takeoff Esports right now in this game two.
was my knee. Ugh. Hate being uh, tall when it comes to this stuff. <clears throat> One of though currently, like I said, three o uh, three o'clock left on the match. Easy trying to do what they can. Easy needs to get something going. Nice stop there by Curso. Can he run it back? And he does. Finally putting some points on the board for takeoff esports. Nice stop, nice drive. FTC able to recounter themselves with a long bomb. And Drez again with the shot. Like I said, this is just getting out of hand now. 2.30, so literally within a minute, they have scored two goals back to back. With the butterfly explosion. Now he tried to get down there and pinching it and it just did not work in his favor. Takeoff Esports right now is needing to figure out how to recounter this because with Easy and company over here, like I said, they, they've done work, but it's just not working against Drez and them right now. Drez, speaking of which, trying to get a good reaction opponent, misses it, but re able to counter it because his opponent or his partner was there to back him up. Minute 25 on the clock. Can Takeoff get something going? Finally, take off esports. Able to, like I said, dampen that wound a little bit. Can they close the wound up though? They've got to get one more with a minute 08 left. And now it is tied up like I spoke of. Can they push it back for to make a game three out of this? Can we see a reverse sweep coming up? But Drez himself is trying to say, nope, I want to get this out of here. I don't need this anymore.
Final 10 seconds. Orange Takeoff Esports knows they've got to do something here if they want to keep going. Let's see if they can do something. Ball is bouncing. They're trying to get it going. Drez does push it up. They've got to be underneath this. Oh, but he lets it touch last second. No, you know he's got to be mad about that. So FTC is about to get a match, my friends. So this is going to be a good series coming up. So, like I said, this is going to be Mr. Eli, who is from New York City versus California. Yay. I've dressed them. I can't wait to see it. So, some of you guys in Twitch chat are trying to say that there will be a reverse sweep. That can be possible because, like I said, watching FTC earlier, FTC barely, barely lost a couple of those uh, rounds they took on with Eli and them. So we are going to get them loaded up. I'm going to actually just have one of my guys toss a commercial out there. I'm going to kick back and check an email real quick. So you guys stay tuned. We'll be back in like a minute max. Hey, guys. We are so excited to be doing virtual cam. So everybody, this is the grand finale between FTC and Eli. We seen Eli tech on FTC literally about an hour and some change ago, and they have been patiently waiting to get this match underway. But here's the downfall, and I'll tell you this as a player myself. Yes, it feels great, nice save off the rip. It does feel great to be in the winner's grand final. Like, yeah, this is great. But you, unless you're playing, you get cold. You get cold, you lose focus, everything else. And so FTC, like the sweep is a very high probable cause because they have been grinding, grinding, grinding. So they are on the go. But right now it is a 2-1 currently in FTC. Can they hold on or will Eli and company come back and take game one over here?
<clears throat> right now, Eli, like I said, mentioned coming back. This might be another one. Nice save there by Wavy. Wavy coming in. Dre's trying to get some action going too with those quick strikes off the rip. It is tied up right now. Process coming on the left hand side. Grabbing the ball, doing some aerial acrobats. Can they push it in? Yes, they will. That aggression made it go in the side. Ball coming in strong right now on the left hand side. FTC is up currently game one. Nice pushback, nice upper, but unfortunately they was too high. The cross fire literally played their part again as goalie keeper. Young Evo trying to get what he can to stop it himself. Wavy doing some work here. Wavy trying to get up on the left hand side, waiting to see what kind of projects down. Nice bounce, nice bounce again. Will it be enough? Wavy able to, or Young Evo able to get up top and save. Evo himself now trying to push through. Redirect off the flip, gets demoed. Coming in strong, nice save there by Drez. That was gonna go in. Nice redirected back down. Minute 12 coming up. Dre is finally able to put some extra cushion on that pushing for that area with a 4-2 lead right now with a minute 10 left. Five to two, so FTC is in full command of game one sweep. <clears throat> but Wavy able to get that nice redirect himself, able to push it in off the wall curve in. Nice pass, <laughs> and it goes right in. And this is a five to three situation now. comes the final 10 seconds. Can Eli clutch this up? Or will FTC start, like I said, the making of the bracket buster? And they will, FTC will take game one. So right now, my production team in the background back there, Evan himself is bringing things around. And so that was, uh, like I said, that was game one. That was game one. So I can't wait to see how game two and, like I said, the rest of them play out. So, so far, we are starting to see a reverse sweep. That was a commanding lead. Now, like I said, Eli and them could have been a little cold. It happens sometimes. So what we'll have to see is how things play out as the kickoff now for game two comes to Mintz.
340 on the clock right now. FTC is up again with a good 1-0 lead from Drez, knocking that goal in. Wavy trying to get some action going too. Ball redirected back, right hand side, coming in hot now, bouncing around. Oh, but nothing to counter with that one. Nice shot, nice bounce up there too. Drez trying to get some action going here. No luck that time. Like I said, <clears throat> 2.42 on the clock. Demo's coming left and right. This is, like I said, FTC is doing a great job in the defensive stance here. <clears throat> They're also playing better in, like I said, getting those offensive grinds as well. So with 2.20 left on the clock, ball blue side, coming in, Demo's coming out the backside. Wabby trying to get some extra things going. Can't counter off the explosion though. Demo's again going on. Minute 25. So far, if FTC can hold on, they will be up two out of this five game series for this first round. If they break, you know, break that, I can't talk, break the bracket, it'll be a great comeback. We haven't seen a, a bracket buster in quite some time. We've seen it on a couple of Call of Duties that we've done, and we might have seen it on a Valorant or two. I'm not entirely sure. Minute warning. Right now, Drake and then have to feel good being up one, but with this team, you want to cake, make sure you're up at least by two. Because if not, it will come back and bite you. You gotta be careful. And there is that too we talked about. <clears throat> Final 20 seconds left. This is going to be going in favor of FTC. I'm gonna update this one right here. Three oh like I said, I I don't know if Eli and company are just like I said got cold fingers from waiting or what might be going on. That's why you always want to play just in case. Play some other you know online events or you know practice or whatever. Never, ever, ever get cold. <clears throat> and that is going to be it for game two. We have a game three coming up here. And so far, it is all FTC at this moment doing some great work. That was a uh, that was a goose egg, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. So I mean, Eli and company need to figure out. Excuse me, whew, something to go on there. That was a that was a dinner my daughter made. It was pretty good. But yeah, the FTC. Is, if Eli and company are careful, they're going to be down in the 
like I said, loser's bracket, and it's going to be reverse flipped. And, I mean, that can mess with you mentality-wise. I've seen guys in Call of Duty be up 5-0 in a series and get re-swept 6-5 in Search and Destroy and lose it. It's a terrible feeling sometimes. <clears throat> so let's see what can happen here. And there goes Drez again, carrying that weight on. Wavy finally able to put some points back on the board to make this series get at least tightly tied up during this game. Question is, can they win this and come back to force a game four? Demo is going over here. Four minutes left on this period. Coming down to the possible wire here. Matrez able to come back and, like I said, recounter himself with a two to one advantage. FTC is, like I said, they're, they're doing what they can. Young Evo right now is able to push the ball around, coming back on the right-hand side, going to get mid-turbo. And right now, Drez trying to do some work, getting cut off. Ball is flying into a dangerous position over here. Drez should be able to counter whatever shot comes in. Able to push it out like that. Wavy, oh, with the demo. Wavy is down. Young Evo is last up. He's got to be careful. His partner is finally in. And now it is tied up again. Eli and company are trying to say, you ain't gonna take us out. I've got time for this. Minute 50 currently on the clock here. <clears throat> Ball's in a dangerous position again. Bouncing around the goal. Orange able to push it out.
Nice stop there, though. Minute 20 on the clock. Can he push it in? No, unfortunately, he's unable to. Can Dresden them force out this game to send this back into a bracket buster to where they will be on top for host? Oh, it's a host advantage, but, you know, the higher seed because we're host. Who wants this more? Oh, that ball was in an evil position again. Here comes the final 20 seconds to see if they go into an overtime. <clears throat> Who is going to want it more is the question. overtime can Eli and company knock out FTC to stay in this or will this be a complete reverse sweep of a 3-0 fashion this is the most light that we have seen out of them I just don't know if it is enough light is the question because is it, is it too late can they make it in there Drez now trying to recounter for a good push. Nothing happened on this backside. There comes a push towards goal. Nice stop there by Drez. Wavy over here trying to get something going. Nothing for Wavy on his side. Young Evo now trying to get something going. Ball is in front of goal again. Oh, and Young Evo will force it to a game four. That was a hell of a game right there. Hell of a overtime too. Like so this is the stuff that we live for, friends. And so now that it's updated, so Eli has to win two more games back to back if they want to close this out. All FTC needs to do is just win one more of those to break the bracket and replay another five. So this is game four, which means we might see ten games all together if it goes the full, full limit. Which is crazy, I know, right? But hey, at least Rocket League's faster compared to other things. Could you imagine doing like a best of five Valorant where it takes forever? God! <laughs> Nice shot downfield there. Evo right now, though, however, should be feeling real good after that overtime victory as Drez gets exploded on. Evo now trying to kip in. This should be an easy shot, and it will be Evo with 40 seconds off the clock hitting that first goal shot.
Alrighty, I am back, my friends. I had to literally go take care of my room before I decided to grab my cords of my uh, lovely lighting thing. It usually comes on around 11 o'clock. I'm like, why is it coming on at 8 o'clock at night? This makes no sense. Or 6 o'clock. Right, what time is it? 6? Yeah, it's 6. And so I had to go stop it because last time I let my room go, I decided to grab my uh, lovely lights and grab the cord, knock over the light, and shatter my light bulbs. I had to replace two light bulbs. Anywho, 2.52 right now on the clock. It's tied up. And so now we've got to see what's happening here. Evo right now pushing the ball around. Recounter. Oh, that's a nice drift on the backside. Drez right now trying to get something going himself. Oh, could not get the extra counter flip. Nice bounce up, nice flip in. Can process cover? No, process cannot knock it in. Drez being hella aggressive right now, trying to get that reflip on the side. Nice stop there. Drez trying to get something going. Ball is in the left hand side, being bounced around. As I have the hiccups, Woo, that means it's a full belly. Oh, that ball is going evilly. All right, good counter right there. Drez able to get the ball from falling into an easy chip in. Oh, process with a nice shot. It's a re-countered save by Yu-Gi-Oh. You, your young Evo. But Drez able to come in there. He's like, I am not losing this. Three or two, one minute, 30 left. Oh, look at process going in the goal and coming out on top to keep that ball from going in. Beautiful plays there, smart plays too. And Drez with the open goal. This should be setting up for a bracket buster to come. So <laughs> here's the great thing that uh, just happened. So <clears throat> greater than ever, AKA Kevin's <laughs> famous chili literally just messaged me the recipe for it oh man I can't wait to try this <laughs> but back in the action while I wait to read the rest of this recipe here 20 seconds on the clock can Drez and company finish this out? And it looks like they will to reset the entire bracket. Yep, and we are now going to have a bracket buster finale, my friends. I'm pretty much getting this bad, bad boy loaded up. And that's, my friends, is what you want to see in esports. You want to see how fun and how great things are. Do, 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 do. So with that being said, like I said, FTC and, and you know, Ellie are about to take each other on one more time. Or I should say five more possible times, but maybe three max. So we'll see. We'll see. 
With that being said, I'm going to have my guys run one more commercial over here, and we will get right into that sweaty action. So you guys stay tuned again. This is Click Gaming with Camp Quality Rocket League 2v2 Championship time. The community here is overall amazing. There's so many nice people. You need help doing something. There's 10, 15 people already rushing over to try to help you. It's almost like a family at this point. Like, I know everyone, everyone knows me. And it's like, even just getting to see everyone for one week is like really nice. I go home and I'm in a better mood. I see things through a more positive lens. Being able to be there for someone uh, and to have that much of an impact of their summer and have them wanting to come back for another year is just something that you can't, you know, you can't pay for. Like those connections that you get to make with these kids here and the fact that they come back year after year is just really a meaningful experience for everyone involved. All righty, this is the championship final final after that bracket buster formed by FTC. Currently, this is a fresh series, but FTC is up 1-0. Right now, ball is in the right-hand side. Nice pinch. Look at that pinch by Wabby sitting it way down. Perfect setup, but no luck, though, with no partners being down there. But they will tie it up now. It is 1-1, one, one, game one here. One forty right now, currently left. Tied up one one. My question is, is who's going to take this right now? I mean, I know we talked about FTC with the reverse sweep, and so far we are seeing it. But can Eli and company able to recounter and take something out of this to make this a actual like good best of five? Because we just seem to walk it. It was a three one scenario. And now Process will help chime in there with a minute 08 to try to secure game one here.
Nice shot on goal. Process though with the save there. Young Evo trying to get a counter back themselves. This might be the nail on the coffin. If they can get it in, they will. This is three to one, 44 seconds left. Twenty seconds left on here. Eli is gonna be down again a 1-0. So this will be four to one games currently for FTC. How much more can Eli hang on? FTC is literally two games away now from reverse sweeping everything and taking home that bill 75 this is what you this is what we pay for this is the good action you want to see i'm i like I said i can't wait to see them come winter championship for game gym on december 4th and 6th because they're going to be in it just as well so hats off to those guys for being like I said badasses Ooh, uh I, let's see here So I think Eli's name is backwards. So if I'm reading this correctly, I think it's, what is that? Chicken Sprite Beluga Well. Chicken Sprite Beluga Well, that's his name. <laughs> I was just looking, I was like, what is that spell? Well, you're still Eli to me, brother. But now that I said his name, I might you know, unlock their potential gameplay since I decoded them. Trey's over here with a nice counter push. Getting a little rolled up, pushing his partner, opponent out of the way now. Process trying to get a good hook. He's in a mean corner, bounces out. Wavy now that he might be able to put the first points on goal if he can get it going that direction and it does oh, it's so close Oh, he does double tap it in off the wall bounce So chicken sprite blue waffle is able to put some points there on the on the uh, board That is right, it is chicken strip. So I was thinking it's bright. I'm dyslexic. <laughs> saying, saying that name backwards is like a chicken strip beluga whale. Alright, well. My daughter's playing Fortnite and I hear her scream in the background. So wavy right now, trying to get some waves going himself. Kind of caught in the corner there. Three minute right now on the clock, but process is trying to finish this out. They want to put a full lead currently on Eli and Kelly.
and they are starting to run away with it now. 234, three to one. Wavy is now tying this up. This is 3-3. This is going to come back down. We might start seeing some reversing of ourselves to keep this up. Minute 30 coming on the clock. 3 3 is still tied up. Is Chicken Strip Beluga Well going to get something here? Or is FTC going to be able to claim it, knock it down? Process not able to counter it up. Can Drez come in and recounter it? No. That could have been a game changer, but unfortunately, it will go to Chicken Strip over here. Thirty seconds on the clock. Young Evo trying to get some action going there too. Both these teams want to close it out. Currently, Chicken Strip is up right now, four to three. We've seen this happen before with Drez and Process. Like I said, this is what also lost them in the uh, finals itself, as they were down literally by one and just could not clutch it up. Fifteen seconds on the clock coming in. This is coming down to the wire. And now we are going to be tied up 1-1 one, one on both sides of this. Three more possible games remain, my friends, to see who wants this money more. Is it FTC or is it Chicken Strip Beluga Whale, as uh, the production team and I found out. Not Sprite, because some of us are special and dyslexic. It happens. It happens. Uh, I think I think FTC will take it, but it's going to come down to the wire to a 3-2 victory. But, I mean, either way, hats off to both these teams for kicking some ass. And thank you, Camp Quality, for providing such kick-ass entertainment here at the same time. Nice pinch process off the rip saying, no, no, don't touch me there. And it's going right in his no-no square.
All right, I am back. I was gonna, I was gonna talk during that, but for whatever reason, my internet decided to be wonky, so I didn't want to sound like a robot to you guys. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna wait my time here. 3:30 on the clock right now. As I hear production talk about coronavirus and them sneezing, and process is up 3:0. So far, nice shots. Wavy right now, trying to get something going. We've seen this before where they've been down and they would climb right back. I wonder how much more gas Wavy has in the tank because they've played some good games, but they've gotten sluggish and sluggish from what I've seen. I mean, they did come back and win that last game, but out of the series so far, it has literally been four to two. But now it is a 4-0 run with a minute 56 left on this game number three. Demo is going off left and right over there. Ken Dresden them counter off everything. Ball is in the corner. Wavy trying to get some wavy misses at the same time. Oh, he was trying to get a pinch off the side and it did not work in his favor there. Again. And process is able to score again. I don't know why my internet's being wonky. Of course it would when the championship comes up. But currently this is a 5-0 walk-off lead right now. Putting chicken <laughs> chicken strip in a hole right now. Chicken strip can't, I mean, they can't afford to lose anymore. If they do, it's gonna be game over for everyone. While we are here, and like this might be the last matchup, <clears throat> I'm, I'm gonna give one more quick shout out over here to CI Investments and CI Global Asset Management.
my stuff's been kind of acting up, so I apologize. <laughs> my internet went on the fritz for a second again. Anyways, like I said, this is a, like I said, we have a shout out real quick again to CI Investment, CI Global Asset Management. CI Global Asset Management is one of Canada's largest investor fund companies. About 1.3 million Canadians trust us to help realize the financial goals. CI is a proud partner with financial advisors across Canada who offer our funds to their clients. And we believe investors are most successful when they follow a sound. So that being said, let's sound off and get into the possible final match of this evening. Come on, internet, hold strong so I can knock this bad boy out. And Young Evo is able to put something on there finally. 1-0. Like I said, they need everything in their power to keep this bad boy rolling the way they need to. And Dre is able to tie this up now. 303 left remaining on the clock. This is gonna come down like they're really good. One minute 40 left. EG and Process are doing what they can to try to knock this out. They wanna win this series and say goodbye.
Let's see if we can go to overtime or can someone get a miraculously crack across midfield. Five seconds left. If FTC can knock us out, they will secure first place in today's tournament. But if Young Evo can knock this out with company, they will be forcing a game number of, uh, five. Actually, hang on, let me see here. I'm confused now. I got too many dang things I'm talking about. They will force a game five if they do knock this out. And they will force a game five. This is the final, final match coming up. Because as soon as I'm done, I'm going to take a shower, get some whiskey, and go watch the Mike Tyson fight. Whew, that was a good series right there, my friends. That was a damn good series. But yeah, coming up, this is going to be the final final match of the series so hats off to both competitors for busting your backsides to get this far and like i said bring something great again my name is johnny i've got evan and chance and uh mr will in my eardrums and like i said i've got camp quality here rocking this bad boy with us and so, like I said, we appreciate you guys staying tuned and also like i said this is for the kiddos so that makes it even more important if you guys want to find out more information about it check out camp quality dot org forward slash rocket league or you can also go to battlefly.com forward slash click gaming we are loading in and this is going to be the finals And young Evo is trying to be like, not in my house. You're not going to take this away from me. I'm going to take everything I can from you guys and win this out and get on with my life.
So far, like I said, this is gonna be coming down and no matter who wins this, we are finally gonna be through with today. So I can't wait to see who does take this actually. I know FTC has been, like I said, trying to get what they can. But, you know, Chicken Strip, Beluga Whale, they've, uh, they've, they've dug deep to climb back out of the hole that they created. Wavy right now, trying to get a good push. That is a nice stop, a nice aerial stop on top of that. Both players are literally just pushing it back and forth as best as they can. Ball is flying down. This might be the shot that Wavy or Process and Dre's needs. Wavy able to bounce it off one, able to bounce it off the over. Nice cross. It's another good setup. Oh, that is in a danger zone right there. Oh. Minute five left. Are we going to go into another overtime or can they squash this out? That isn't a bad situation. Process able to keep the ball alive, pushing it forward. But Dresden then finally able to put some extra cushion in there, putting the pressure all on top. Is this going to be enough that they need? seconds on the clock this is all she's gonna write unless chicken blue waffles can do something here chicken beluga waffles chicken and a biscuit chicken and a biscuit and that my friends is all she's gonna write Woo! hats off to everybody there with that being said, <laughs> Lordy, 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 Lordy. So with that being said, we're going to give a quick shout out to those who are involved with this, and then we're going to let you guys go, and we're going to get out of here ourselves and pay these guys. This tournament is brought to you by CI Investments and CI Global Asset Management. CI Global Asset Management is one of Canadians' largest investment fund companies, about 1.3 Canadians trust us to help realize their financial goals. CI is proud to partner with financial advisors across Canada who offer funds to their clients. We believe investors are most successful when they follow a sound. With that also being said, shout out to Camp Quality for rocking it with us. You know, if it wasn't for you guys, they're, they're, there's a lot that's always on the line when it comes to esports. And we appreciate everyone and anyone involved. And lastly, but not least, Mortory Esports, my buddy Ryan out there, hats off to you meeting up with me like literally six, seven, eight years ago, man, and staying in touch and bringing this to us. So with that being said, my name's Johnny. I've got Evan, I've got Chance, and I've got Will as well in my eardrums. This is Click Gaming. Follow us on clickgaming.gg, and we'll see you guys tomorrow for some Call of Duty action. Peace.